Can you explain what internet is? Uh, what, what is you internet about? anyway? Welcome to the super special Selfish Saturday stream. Hello. How are we all doing? What's going on, Stolly? What's up, Ducky? What's up, Sirens? What's up, butt lover? Big, big, big booty lover. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry about that. Yo, what's up, Chrissy? What's up, Alric? Good to see you. Yo, good luck with that. Thanks so much for the 80 months, baby. Thank you. Good luck with that. Hope you're doing well. <clears throat> Sup, boy, EI. Chrissy and I have been looking at this game me since it too. got announced. Love me some card Kenny, games. Kenny, thanks so much for the 88 months. You just uh, resubbed for Chrissy's Golden Month. Wow, how cute. Thanks for the 88, baby. <clears throat> mm -mm. What's up, C-Mad? Hello, good to see you. How are we doing? What's up, Silver? Silver, that picture looks like a damn painting, brother. That pi that picture looks like a damn painting. Those cotton candy ass clouds. What's up, Van Swaggin' in 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 in? How's it going? Yo, what's up, Ashton? Hello. Almost planned, but definitely not. Eighty-eight months. Bruins fan, eighty-eight. <clears throat> it's all coming up, Millhouse. It was very nice. It looked very nice. We actually went on a walk today, too. And we got Chick-fil-A. And while we were on the walk, we also played disc golf. We didn't play a full 18 of disc golf, but we played probably about seven or eight holes. Um, it was really fun. It was really fun. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful day out. <clears throat> you build another deck? I don't know if you've seen my Vile Villains deck, Nick. I don't think I've played you with my Vile Villains deck. So, 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 yeah? <clears throat> Relative to uh, my 1v1s with you, I have, I think. It does look very pi picturesque, it's true. It's true. Do, 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 do. All right, guys. Um, so today's stream's a little different. I'm calling it the Selfish Secret Saturday stream. Now I'm calling it Selfish because if you're into this kind of thing, I think you'll find it enjoyable. And if you give it a chance, you probably will. Me personally, never liked Pokemon, never liked Magic the Gathering. Those IPs just never spoke to me as far as like collectible card games go, trading card games, deck builders, whatever you want to call it. Um, but this game is speaking to me, and I have been playing it nonstop over the last couple of days. Um, it's been a game I've been looking forward to for probably about a year, year and a half since they announced it. <clears throat> um, so we're going to play some on Tabletop Sim. For information... For information, we have this, okay, and then we have how to, okay, and then we have, I think that's it. But any questions you guys have, I can answer them as we're playing. And then the menu, right, the menu, I do a formal apology, uh, I do apologize. What's up, Samurai? Hi, good to see you. What's up, Founder Phil? How are we doing? 
Um, but yeah, I've been playing on tabletop sim for like the last four or five days and I've been playing hours and hours and hours of it and I can't stop and I'm building decks and I'm, I'm lost. I'm lost in the sauce. Um, and this is before they even release packs that we could open on stream, which is, you know, they have foils, they have super rare cards. They got legendaries. It's dark. It's dark. It's getting dark. <clears throat> uh, what's up, Maddie the boy? Hello, good to see you. How are we doing? Having a great Saturday? Love to hear it, Phil. <clears throat> I mean, I do open a, more packs than I think the next guy, for sure, on stream, whether that be sports packs, Star Wars cards, whatever it may be. So it's not completely out of the realm. I've also built this stream on opening up cases on Counter-Strike. We're not veering very far off the path by ripping up uh, some Lorcana packs when they drop. Um, and yes, I've been following along with Gen Con, yes. Saw all the rare cards, saw the lines. Been watching some pack openings already. Disney Lorcana, also known as Lorcana, is a collectible card game being released by Ravensburger in collaboration with the Walt Disney That's true. Company in fall 2023. Thank you for that extra added information, as uh, as if the couple of paragraphs wasn't enough. Uh, thank you, Alric. Appreciate the 53 months, and Maddie the oh, boy. That's why my wolves wave was gone, Keck. <laughs> thank you very much. Appreciate the prime, dude. Thank you, Maddie the boy. Thank you. Saw all that. Uh, they've seemed to figure it out by today. Today was really smooth and nobody was complaining on Twitter and everybody got their product. Everyone seems very happy with how the uh, line went today. Um, yeah, it was insane the first couple days, though. It was insane, brother. It was insane, brother. Kayaking yesterday. I saw that picture, Ducky. That looks so cool. That looked very relaxing and nice. You had a Costco trip today, going to Niagara Falls tomorrow for a night? Oh my gosh. Wow. I know, Van Swagen, yeah. They really thought about that part of it, which is, seems like a big part of it, but like a lot of people that make trading card games, I think just care about selling packs for rares and stuff, but yeah, the game is so fun. It's like, it's boggling my mind. Like, well, like me and Nick play with the same packs, or sorry, the same decks, and like it's so radically different every, every game. It's it's wild. That's what they did, Samurai. That's what they did. It's less complex to so it's easier to get into, but then the the strategy is still very deep, like really deep. It is C mad, but don't say that too loud. Tabletop sim is like 12 bucks or something. But let's, like, you know, quiet it down a little bit. <laughs> we don't want, we, you know what I mean? We don't, we don't want Bob Iger to overhear you. We don't want any Disney attention on the stream right now. This game doesn't even come out for another two weeks. Um... But yeah, guys, we're going to be playing a 1v1 match, which normally is what Lorcana is, although I think it services up to like a four-player match, but I think that's just to like for families and stuff. But um, yeah, uh, we're going to be playing up against Nick G. So bet your pack points. Bet your pack points. Who do you think is going to win? <clears throat> oh, no, Kels. Yeah, I don't think the TTS version supports four people. It might support it, but I feel like I read some comments um, about about that. So the okay, so the decks that we're playing um, here. Let's bring in Nick, who we are who we are playing against. Um, <clears throat> let's see here. Hello, hello, hello. Hello. Hey. Hey. Um. Before we bet. Somebody was asking uh, what the decks are. Um, we can, uh, can drop a link in chat. 
Yeah, so we we built we built the decks on Dreamborn. Um, so if you actually want to see the exact deck, it's right here. There's there's the two decks if you really want to dive into it. But like uh you, you know a top down zoom out version of the decks is I'm playing with purple and gold, and mine is called the Vile Villains deck. Uh, I copied it from somebody on Dreamborn, and then I changed some of the cards. Uh, but basically, it's supposed to be like build a villain army type thing and draw cards. Um, yeah. This My is too many is cards. B slash Y because it's blue and yellow. Okay. <laughs> inventive. <laughs> Very inventive. This is too many cards. Uh, Phil, you're looking at the wrong side. Um, but yes, there is over 200 cards in this first set of Lorcana. I feel like it'd be strange if it was uh, much lower than that. Um, but you're looking at every card in the game on the left side. On the right side is the Vile Villains deck that we are using. People that, you know, this is just for people that know, I guess, Lorcana, which I'm assuming the new viewer Grumpy Joe does maybe know. <clears throat> mm -mm. Okay, bye. Have fun. I hope Nick G wins. What the hell, Kels? Love that. What the hell? 60 cards in a deck. 60 cards minimum in a deck. You could actually go more than that, but I'm not a huge fan of going more than that. What's up, Molly? Good to see you. Okay. Um, did you open the lobby yet? No, I'm going to do that now. Do, 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 do. Okay. Uh, I did open the lobby. I'm going to make sure I have the latest version of my deck here. Oh, it kept. It, it does yeah, keep it. Yeah, yeah just you, I, I'll delete it. Latest version of your deck. You've been making changes, huh? Not a, maybe a little bit. Sometimes I change and I don't realize I changed. <laughs> Pull out your deck for me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Is that the mat you're going with? Are you confirm going with uh, Maui or what? You know what? We'll go with Steamboat Willie. You're going Steamboat Willie. Okay, for my mat, for my mat, I'm gonna go. Let's go Magic Carpet Ride Aladdin. Strong. When you're importing a mat, do you put the whole link? Yeah. So I feel like it didn't work for me last time. Oh, yeah. You just copy that link, baby. Let me try it again. I like this one. This one's nice. I added the goofy mats for him. I'll use a goofy mat. I'm not scared of a goofy mat. I love a goofy mat. You gonna use the goofy mat? Where is the goofy mat? Goof oh, yeah, yes. at the bottom. So many. There's one with power line in the middle. Yeah, that's gotta be it. That's my guy. It didn't work. Look at my stream. Um, okay, go ahead. This. Does your link look like this in this box? Oh, I got to put a, a dot .png at the end? Oh, big time, yeah. Okay. There boom. it is. And boom, boom goes the dynamite. I am keeping stream minimized, though. No looking. No cheating. Um, I don't know what this deck is over here, but... I'll delete it. <clears throat> I'll delete it. Do, 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 do. She builds on my deck till I what? Till I goofy. 
I'm so sorry. All right, guys, here we go. We're going to shuffle her up, okay? And we're going to draw the opening hand. The opening hand is seven cards. But the good thing is you can mulligan, meaning you can get rid of as many cards as you want and uh, get new cards. Um, is this, does this mute my stream? Yes, it does. I wonder, Nick, can you hear me? Nick, can you hear me? All right. I might, you just said muted it in Discord. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, cause I might talk through my moves with the stream. Okay. Um, a little bit. And if you don't mind like talking through what you're doing, um, yeah. Okay, you rolled a 13? I did. All right, so we roll a d20 to see who goes first, or actually who has the choice to go first, and I rolled a 19, and I'm going to choose to go second because I like going second. All right. I like so, going second a lot. Whoever starts does not draw a card to start their turn. That's true. So we will go ahead and use our healing glow brink okay so guys this is the core mechanic of the game right here basically the top left is how much it costs to play this card he's not technically playing this card right now he's turning this card into what they call ink which allows you to play cards so he's creating one ink out of this card meaning he's flipping it over and that card is done for the game uh but he creates one ink now he could play cards in his hand that cost one the cost is on the top left of the card. You can only ink one card per turn unless you have a card that tells you can ink another card for some reason. Um, and that's like the core of the game. You basically, instead of like having mana or something in like Hearthstone, you have to create your own mana by discarding cards to turn them into ink. And then the ink pool stays throughout the whole game, but you, you can utilize it by like using one ink by turning it or, you know, whatever. And it resets every turn. So we will exhaust our ink and bring Timon out to dry. Right, and that's another mechanic. When you play a card, you can't like quest or fight with it instantly unless the card states otherwise. Uh, you have to like let the ink dry and then next turn he can quest with Timon or he can attack with Timon or whatever. Um, so yeah, that's that. Yeah, All right, winter. <laughs> sweet. <clears throat> All right, so as you can see, I got a pretty good distribution. This is what they call a good curve. We have a good ramp up to four. I got rid of that uh, eight card because that's just way too expensive for early game. So I, I mulligan that card, which shuffles it back into the deck. Um, so Dingle Hopper is actually an item that allows me to heal my characters uh, if they get damaged. So I'm going to try to get a Dingle Hopper out there. I really like my Maleficent card, but you'll notice something different about how much it costs on the top left. The fact that it doesn't have that gold wreath actually means I can't ink this card. So I can't turn this card into ink. I actually just have to play it. Um, there are some cards in the deck that don't have the gold wreath. Most of them do though. Most of them do. It's usually a way to balance a strong card uh, to make it less strong because you can't like fall back and turn it into ink if you don't want to play it. Um, all right, I am going to ink You Have Forgotten Me, which is an action that makes opponents discard two cards, but we're not going to do that action because we're not playing the card. We're turning it into ink. Now our ink well is at one, which allows me to play the Dingle Hopper, which is an item. Items just live on the side and... This item in particular is actually free, so it costs no ink to play it. When I do want to play it, I could just tap it and heal, which is very nice. And that's my turn. All right. We will untap, draw a card. We will turn our magic golden flower into ink. Slap my thigh, boys. Have literally no idea how to play Whoa. this game. I know, I know, I know. Trying to figure out GX on my Y to I Z jokes the whole time, That's so fair. I wasn't Bring listening. The body Do whatever you want, brother. Thanks for the hundred bits. I'll, I'll let you uh, talk that card out if you'd like. 
Okay, yeah, so he, this card cost two. He had two ink in his inkwell. He uh, did both of them. Uh, and this is a bodyguard card, which comes out exerted, meaning I'm going to have to kill, or sorry, not kill, banish Simba back to his discard by attacking him for three or more before I even touch Timon. He's a bodyguard character, so you have to go through him first before you get to any characters behind. And then we will quest with Timon. I also didn't draw on my first turn. Love that. Yeah. For, I, for the sake of the game, just draw two. Okay. Yeah, I have um, brain fog. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I'm, you're supposed to draw every turn, and I forgot to draw turn one because I was going to explain to you guys what I was doing. Um, all right, so it's my turn? Yep. Okay. All right, I'm drawing two, which you never do. I'm just doing this because Nick is being nice and uh, allowing me to recoup my missed first draw. Um, okay, let me think here. We got that, 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 that. Um, I will say, friends on the other side, one of the strongest cards in the game, it's you pay three ink to draw two cards, or if you have a character that costs three or more out on the board, like something like Maleficent, she can actually use her action to sing it for free, which is really nice. Um, Hades is a great card. Uh, we'll we'll may hopefully see me upgrade Hades. It's an upgradable character, which is really nice. Um, this deck that I built is like you build a villain army, basically. Uh, and every deck plays super different. Like this one is this one is more aggressive and more like you know get your characters out there type thing. Um, all right. I will, unfortunately. Ink a Jafar, which I love a Jafar a lot. You love that you're inking it. And um, we'll get Dr. Facilier out there, and I will uh, tap two cards to play him. And then that is my turn. All right. So we'll untap, we'll draw a card. Hate to do it, but we're going to ink Mickey. The leader of the House of Mouse is getting inked. He is a very... Okay, so the one real important mechanic I have yet to explain is is lore, which is how you win the game. You basically have to quest to get lore, and the amount of lore you get is indicated on each card by that little star symbol on the bottom right of the card. Each of these characters, when they quest, they get one lore, which gets you one point closer to 20, and once you hit 20, you win the game. Um, some characters, I think, is that Mickey Mouse 4 lore? It, the big one is 4. Okay, so some characters can literally have 4 of those stars, so every time you quest with them, you get 4 lore to your 20 total. So some some are a lot stronger than just 1. And some are 2, some are 3. But a lot are 1. We will exhaust our ink and bring Mickey out to dry. Okay. And then we will quest with these two. And that's our turn. So basically, he quested with these two, which got him two more lore. He quested on the first turn, which he had one. Um, so now he has three points, and I have zero. Um, it's nothing to be super alarmed about right now, but it's something... You don't want to get left in the dust, because then sometimes it's really hard to catch up. Uh, all right. We drew a queen, which a queen is really good. Uh, she costs five to play, so we're not going to be able to play her anytime soon. So sometimes you ink cards that you don't think you're going to be able to play anytime soon. And unfortunately, we only have two ink right now. And uh, it's a bit of a pipe dream to play her anytime soon. So I think we're going to get rid of the queen here and ink her and then play Maleficent. Because this will create three ink. And then now that I've created three ink, I'll play Maleficent. So I'm going to ink the queen here. Love that. And then we will play Maleficent. So now, guys, what happens is I have the option with Dr. Facilier, since he's done drying, I have the option of doing stuff. I have the option of questing, 
for one point to go towards my 20 to win, or I have the option to challenge, which basically means fight. And then I could fight Simba, and this character has zero attack, but this one actually has two when you challenge. So it would do two damage, which wouldn't kill Simba, and then Simba would deal two to me, so I would have two health. It's not worth it. And it's also not worth questing, I don't think, for one point, because what happens when you quest is you leave yourself vulnerable to get attacked. You can't attack cards that aren't exerted. So I am just going to status quo it. And I played my Maleficent for three, so I will uh, do that. Love that. All right, Mickey is dry. We will draw a card. We will use two ink to play the lantern. Okay, so we played a lantern, which is an item very similar to similar to my Dingle Hopper here. My Dingle Hopper just heals a character for one damage, uh, while the lantern you pay one less currency, or sorry, one less ink to play your character, which is very valuable. So you could play a, th a you know a four cost for three ink. We will go ahead and use said lantern to bring out Aurora. So what happened there is he paid he paid two ink to play the lantern, used the lantern to play the two cost card for one in Aurora. And then we will go on a big quest for four. One, two, three, four. And that is my turn. The quest number is in the bottom right. It's not the same as the attack. It's the star symbol. So Mickey has two quests. He has one. Simba has one. Aurora has two. You could see how it could start spiraling out of control if you don't challenge and attack the other team. Like, if I don't start banishing some of these characters, especially the bodyguard who protects these guys, it gets you. Could, it could get out of control quickly. My deck is a little different, where I kind of have to suck it up and like let Nick get some victory points. Because what happens is I'm trying to like get a bunch of villains out on the deck or on the uh, playing area and then attack and then quest and then do. But I need to like gain traction first, I guess is the best way to put it. All right, it's our turn. Um, Maleficent is done drying. She's in play. Dr. Facilier in play. I drew one of these which is pretty damn good, to be honest. I'm not mad about drawing one of these. Um, I am not mad about it. So what's gonna happen here is I'm gonna, I'm gonna ink Jafar. Love it. And that's gonna cost four. And then I will... I will sing Friends on the Other Side with Maleficent. So when you sing a song with a character, it has to be the same cost as the, the, the song cost. So three and three works out. She could sing this song, which means I don't have to exhaust three of my ink to sing it. And we get two cards. And... I don't know about that, Chief. Don't know about that one, Chief. Mm. So I'm muting. Uh, my choices would be to play Maleficent and Maleficent or to play Hades. Yeah. Uh, I think we just double up on Maleficent here. All right, so I'm going to exhaust four. And then we'll play one Maleficent. Two Maleficent. These will be out to dry. The song gets discarded. Um, I will... I will hit Simba, which is going to give me... It's going to give me two damage, but I'm going to use my Dingle Hopper to remove one. So I only get hit for one. Well, I get hit for two, and then I heal one. And then... 
my turn is done. All right, when you're ready, Aurora is now dry. Draw a card. We will. Oh, we've got choices. Choices. Uh, so yeah, guys, the inkwell is permanent. So like once it comes back to my turn, these four flip like this and now they're usable again. And then I can ink another card on my turn that's usable instantly. Um, the whole like drying process means like I just played this Maleficent and this one. So I can't quest with them or challenge that with them the turn I play it. They just got to wait till next turn to do all that stuff. There are characters that have an ability called Rush that when you play them, you can attack instantly. That's that's pretty much that. Got decisions to make. All right, we will. Go ahead and tap these. And we will bring out bell to dry okay and then we will just go on a big quest for six one mm. two three four five six and that is my turn okay you can see how i'm in trouble guys um i don't think i need a tutorial to tell you that um being down 13 nothing is not good uh my my strategy definitely takes some time to come together but if it does it can be really strong um that's not necessarily the card we wanted to draw though but it does give us the ability to do that so first things first before i forget because i always seem to forget to heal my characters i'm gonna do that right off the rip and I'm going to take the last little bit off of Dr. Facilier. And then what we're going to do is... I am going to hope for the best. And the only thing is, like, I know I have to... We should think about how we're going to take out his bodyguard and some of his characters because if we don't stop him he is right now one point away from winning because he has six no he has seven he, he would win next turn because he's got two two four five six seven lore and then he's at 13 so if we don't do something about the cards out here we lose next turn um so I do have to think immediately about what to do before I start singing songs and any bullshit like that. Uh, so. What we will do is. Dr. Facilier will finish Simba and I'll take the two damage. And you can only attack once with one character. So since Dr. Facilier did that attack, he's he's tapped for the rest of the thing. Uh, unless you have an item that untaps him, but that's edge case scenario. Uh, so now we have to deal with a couple of other things. Um, I will do this because it, you know, Simba only hits, or sorry, uh, Tomoa only hits for one, so Maleficent stays alive, but Tomoa gets, gets wiped and banished. Um, and now my decision is, do I want to do two cards for a Mickey? Seems not great. Um, I could do, you know, just trade the Maleficent for... The Aurora, which, you know, could be smart because this generates two lore and mine only does one. So a one for one is probably not the worst thing. And then it'll also give us a card advantage at the end of the day. And I haven't even done my turn yet. So, I mean, we kind of have to. We'll do that. We'll take out Aurora. Take out Maleficent. 
Every time I played Maleficent, I haven't drawn a card. Even though that's her ability. So now I'm shitting and crying too. Um, we already used our heal. All right, now we have four ink. What are we gonna do with the four ink is the question. Um, we can obviously ink be our guest and draw Slap three. My fire, boys. Oh man, I'm not really a card collector, but damn, those cards look cool. Yeah. I forgot about True. when this was coming out and just looked at my little local card shop to see if they were in stock. That's a big no. I hope stock isn't a problem. It's because not out. I think this will be my first card game I buy. It's not out yet, Pure Pariah. <laughs> it's not out yet. Uh, it comes out August 18th uh, in local card stores and then September 1st in big box retailers, meaning like Target, Walmart. That'll come out in September 1st. August 18th is when this comes out for local card stores. Still got like two weeks. Stock will be a problem, though, probably. Um, you should see Gen Con this weekend. It's insane. All right, so sorry. Um, thanks for the 100 bits, though, Silver, for relaying the message. Uh, I'm mind flooded, if you can't tell. Um, so that would give us... So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna I'm gonna um, ink be our guest. That's gonna give us five ink. I'm gonna play Hades, which will cost four. And then when I play this character, I can return a card to my hand, a character card, which is Maleficent. So I'll take her back. That's Well of Souls. When you play this character, return a character card from your discard to your hand. And then I still have one more, which means I could play my one Maleficent. And we'll do that, and we're fully tapped, and after two years, my turn is over. <laughs> All right. Phil, you'll change your tune once you see the uh, these full cart arts in person and the foils. You'll change your tune. I know it. You're a man of taste. All right, so we're going to ink our coconut basket. Okay. We will tap one and develop our brain. Okay, develop brain is look at the top two cards. You put one in your hand and then the other one at the bottom of the deck. What's up, B-Watt? Yeah, guys, don't worry. There, there's, there's a huge fair share of misplays that I will be doing. We will tap the lantern and bring out the flounder. For free! <gasps> no, if you didn't do the things you did last turn, I would have had some choices still. But I like limiting your choices. I don't have choices. We will certainly do something like this. Okay. And she takes no damage. Takes no damage because he only does damage when he challenges. When he gets challenged, he does no damage back, unfortunately. We will then... Hmm. See, I know your deck a little too well to let you sit on all these villains, so I'm going to have to use Mickey Mouse here. That's fair. Oops. Is it two? Oh, oh. oh sorry. <laughs> yeah, <it's> two. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, pretty much, Mr. Amazing. Pretty much, brother. And there isn't technically a Disney card game yet. It comes out in a couple weeks. Uh, Silver Mitten gifting a deck to... G <laughs> I'm fucked. Silver Mitten gifting a sub to Girthy Deck 696969. Thank you very much, Silver. Are you done? You're done. Turn is over. All right, so we're going to reset everything, guys. Now these cards have dried. Now we have four in play. I will draw my card before I forget. 
And we have five down here. Isn't, isn't this one banished for Mickey? Oh, right? shit. I think I you're down. right. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. You're good. Um, all right. On a scale of one to ten, how hard is it to play? I'm dumb and hate and historically do not like card games like Magic, Pokemon, Key Forge, uh, Flesh and Blood. Uh, Hearthstone, I kind of got into, but also didn't really care too much about it. And this has been a pleasure to learn, to be honest. Um, and it's not hard to learn. And that was one of the key things that they wanted to do with Lorcana is that make it easy to learn for people that don't really like or have played card games in the past. Um, so yeah, very easy. I watched one 20 minute video and I pretty much knew how to play the game. And then it's just about learning the different cards and stuff. Um, all right. Poor unfortunate souls. I will sing Friends on the Other Side with Hades, and that will give me two cards. Okay, I'm muting, but this is the card I was looking for. Uh, you may just think, Jay, it's eight to play, but you'd be wrong. It's actually six to play because I have a Hades out on the board. Now, that Hades can die now that I sung with Hades, so that's a problem. Uh, but, yes, this card only cost me six to play. Which actually... I wonder if I could play it on the Hades that's been tapped. Like the Einstein look. What, are you talking about my hair? Um, yeah, I'm curious. Uh, you can? Okay, okay, good. I think I got confirmation from uh, Fat Daddy, but Nick, you can you could stop this if you don't if you don't think it's true. Okay. Um, but let me just let me just suss for a second here. I mean, you're still at thirteen, okay. Confirmed by Disney. Okay, so Nick, Nick, you're overruled if you want. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm gonna I'm gonna ink Maleficent. Actually, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna ink uh, be our guest. And then I am going to do this Hades upgrade on the already tapped Hades that sung the song. Mm -hmm. But, but you know, it does stay as that. Mm -hmm. um, and that is not my turn just yet because it's time to uh, finally, finally get some lore. And we do have four on the board because they both quest for two. Uh... And that is my turn. All right. Well, you have forced my hand. Uh-oh. We are going to have to swing them all at Hades. Oh, fuck. <laughs> ah, fuck. All right, so basically he's using every character on his play mat to kill Hades. Which, like... Sucks for me, right? But like, welcome to the Krongo. But like, he's got no cards out right now. I mean, he granted he's probably gonna play some, but still. We're certainly gonna play something. That something is named Aurora. Okay. And that will be my turn. Okay. All right. Um. All right, guys. So the cool thing about this is we have six ink, and then uh, I could just do do this. And I will draw my card. I will remember to use cast my spell to draw my card. And I'm gonna play Yzma as well. And 
Then we will quest for four again, bringing us to eight, and that is our turn. All right. It's getting spooky out there. That's for sure. So this is now in play. We will sing Be Our Guest. Are you singing it for free with her or call, call no, it? Okay. I'm singing it with ink. Okay. So we're going to draw four. So with Be Our Guest, he gets to look at the top four cards and, and snag one of the characters out of it. And then he has to put the uh, rest at the bottom of his deck. Okay. So I think we do this. These two are definitely going bottom of the deck. I've got a tough decision to make. Very tough decision. To be honest, Phil, I kind of do this because if I'm being real with you, full transparency, Yzma's kind of in my deck for ink. Like, I like when Yzma shows up because I usually just ink it. I rarely play it, but like, it's a fine ability, I guess. Isma, I don't know. Jizma, I'm not sure. Happened to. We're bringing out Grandma. He's using my love against me. We will then take one of these out and take one damage. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And that will be my turn. Okay. Oh, okay. This is, a, this is like a make or break turn for you here. You could completely take over the game or yeah, I got it, it could come down to the wire. I got to tell you, it ain't looking like I'm taking over, but... Um... So, guys, I have six ink. I can't play both of these cards. I probably wouldn't play You Have Forgotten Me anyway because he only has one card, so to discard two cards is silly. It's probably more valuable as ink right now. I have an Ursula in the deck, which costs, card, like, seven. Boys. Jay, I need so, to know yeah. who your favorite Disney character is. I mean, that's such a loaded question. My, uh, That's such a loaded question. Um... Yeah, G, we're not going to, like, play, like, the meta strongest decks, you know, two weeks before the game even comes out, G. That's not necessarily um, what we're about, you know? We're just about getting some cards on the play mat and going at it. Um, but my favorite Disney character is such a... It's so loaded. I mean, my favorite Disney princess is Tiana because my favorite... One of my favorite movies is Princess and the Frog. Um, my favorite Disney character is Aladdin. Because that is my favorite Disney movie. Um, but, like, yeah, then we get into, like, favorite villain. And then we get into, like... I mean, my favorite villain is Dr. Facilier from uh, Princess and the Frog. And then, like, Maleficent, probably two. I mean, I, I, you know, there's, it's a, it's a loaded, loaded bit there. And this is all just classic animation, not, not 3D. Gina already got the meta build. I can't. Yeah, that's tough. This guy right here, favorite villain, Dr. Facilier. Uh, all right. What am I doing? Who, who are we? I think you were just going to end your turn right there. Oh, you think so? <laughs> <laughs> Um, so yeah, this is pretty much our only play is to pop Dr. Facilier out there and I will, I will full quest here. That is going to get us six points, bringing us to 14. This is disastrous. And then there you go. My turn's done. All right. Big money, no whammy. Um, this isn't great. 
Yeah, guys, just to be clear, this is a, this is just tabletop sim. This this Lorcana is not going to be a video game. They are not going to release it on any platform. They're not making an iPhone app. They're not making. They have no plans of making a video game. Whether that ever happens, I don't know. Um, but it's 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 a card game, uh, physical card game releasing in a couple weeks. Um, but this is, I mean, unless you're at Gen Con this weekend and you buy like a shit ton of booster packs, this is like the only way to play right now. All right, so we're gonna take out these two, which okay. will also take out my cards. Okay. She will become ink. Yeah, so the really cool thing about Grandma Tala is when she gets banished, she doesn't go to the discard. She actually goes to your ink well, um, which adds another ink to your thing. I mean, she's exerted, so you can't use her this turn, but going forward, you can. Definitely one of my favorite cards in the game. We will then... One, two, three, four, five. We'll bring out the goof. The old proxy card. <laughs> And that is my turn. All right. Um, reset here. I forgot to use the your excused ability, but that's fine. We love that. Mm. Are there starter decks or are you allowed to build your own? Yeah, you could build your own on uh, a couple of websites. That Dreamborn Inc. one is the one we use. And not only that, any deck that you build, you could paste the link to it right here and it imports it into your game. It's crazy. It's nuts. So, guys, I'm still not choosing to use this just because... He only has one card. I don't know. It doesn't really seem, yeah, seems smart. So I'm just, I'm, I'm just gonna play the Hades, and then. Um, I hate that so much. I think this might be GG. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna play the Hades. I get to return a character. Mm-hmm. I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I could take Big Hades back, or I could take a Maleficent and play it instantly. There's, there's, there's definitely options. Um, I could even I think, get a. I think the Maleficent gets you there faster. Yeah, I mean the the thing about Maleficent is she's two victory points. I mean she does, you know. Let's just do it. Let's get her out there. She can't do her quest now, but um, I will quest for three, which brings us to 17. And then that's my turn. All right. This is not looking great for us. I mean, they'll probably eventually make a video game, I'd assume, if it's successful. Um... Their companion app right now is, like, so crispy clean on the iPhone that, like, I could see them making a digital version just because of how good that app is. Like, how nice the cards look and stuff inside the app. Um, That's going to be a, a GG. That's it? Even if I could take these three out, those two win it next turn. You want to play it out for um, the, yeah. the stream so, you know, we have a little bit of a climactic finish? We bring out Aurora. What? Look at this card, by the way, guys. Got, it got to be one of my favorites. This is this is one of the full card arts that is like really, really rare. I think this is called Enchanted Rare. I think it's averaging two per case, or sorry, one per two cases or something. And it's like foiled in real life. It looks insane. Just for the sake of it, we'll take out this one. Okay, two we'll damage. Two damage. Damosh. And that is my turn. Okay. He did call GG, but we're just, just for the stream, we're going to, well, I guess you could argue I'm making Nick, su Nick suffer here. <laughs> but, um, and then we'll just, just to add insult to injury, I guess we could play that to have him discard his only card. And then that would be six. 
And then this would be a quest of, I think, four or five. And that'll get us over 20 for the W. All right, GG, GG. GGs. Let's reset. I can run one more. Okay. We'll go a little quicker this time. I was just trying to explain as much as I yeah. could. Um, All right, pay out the believers and get another bet going real quick. Do you want me to go first again? I would like would you to you go like first to... again, yeah. All right. But yeah, I I've I, I'm I'm kind of a, a a nerd, and I've watched like interviews with the creators, and they've been asked about video games, and they you know they're they're very focused on actual printing of cards, and and really they have like this set coming out, set one coming out in two weeks, and then they already have set two probably in production right now that comes out in the middle of November, and then set three I think is already slated for like January or February, so like. They're hitting the ground hard, and they're 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 off and running with all the the print and distribution and all that. So like, I don't think it, the video game is really their focus right now. Um, but yeah, maybe we're in gonna, a couple of years. We're gonna ink be our guest. Okay. We will tap it and develop our brain. Okay. I think I want to switch. <laughs> what do you mean? That's oh, right. you've I, already I, committed to that. I don't even the... know how I would pull the card off the bottom yeah. of the deck. That's fine. Your turn. All right. I will not forget to draw my one card. All right. Something simple to get us going. As I said, Isma, last time I usually do turn uh, them into ink. And uh, we'll do just like we did last time and start with the Dingle Hopper. I didn't have to use it too much last game, but I play with a lot of characters out on the play mat. So, like, being able to heal for one is, like, is, is really nice. That's my turn. All right. We will draw a card. We are going to ink Jasmine. I never untapped this. We're going to ink Jasmine. Okay. And then we will use our two ink to bring out Aurora to dry. Okay. And it's your turn. Okay. <laughs> so I was telling you guys about some characters have Rush, which allows them to challenge right when you play them and not have to dry them. This pocket watch is an item that allows you to do that to any character, which is very cool. It's a very cool item. Um, and I might get it out there because playing with items is really fun. All right. Um, um, we will ink be our guest. And I will exert to ink to play Isma. And uh, that is my turn, I think. Yes, when the character quests. All right. We draw our card. We will. We're going to ink the coconut basket. Okay. We are going to exhaust two and bring out grandma. Mm -hmm. And then we will exhaust our other one, bring out the old appetizer fork. You got the dingle hopper as well, eh? And then we'll quest for two. Okay. Do, 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 do. Uh, 
All right, so I have a couple options at three here. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna ink you have forgotten me. That's gonna make our three ink, and then we could play two misplays in this game. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that could um, allow me to play Maleficent, get the pocket watch down there, which could be good for future turns. Uh, I think these are our two options right now. And I think we get Maleficent out there mainly because when you play her, she allows you to draw a card. All right, Maleficent out, exhaust the three, draw the card. And boom goes the dynamite. Uh, I will... I will quest as well. All now right. I'm done. Oh, as you can see, card. she has three lore that she generates, and she has eight shield. She is she is a big chungus for sure. Hate to see it. We're gonna ink stitch. Speaking of big chunguses, that's a chungus for sure. <laughs> bring out the lantern okay item run we will tap the lantern we'll do a little something like this and bring out the old protector the bodyguard Simba okay. All and right. then we will quest for three okay good turn all right, all right, guys, what are we gonna do next? What are we gonna do next? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's always weird when you have like, like my four cards, the one I wanna burn. He's down to one card again, so this card is, again, kind of useless. If he had two, it could be good, but they could be two shit cards, you know? Um, obviously, I could play Dr. Facilier. I could get the Pocket Watch down, which would allow us to rush with Dr. Facilier next turn. Which, to be honest, is fine. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, I'm going to play the pocket watch. I will also ink you have forgotten me. And then we will... We will, we will, we will, we will. We will quest for two. Um, and then I am finally going to use Isma's thing which just makes me aware of what's coming up next. Or if I don't want it to come up next, I could put it on the bottom and that's what I'm gonna do. And my turn's done. All right, we draw a card. <clears throat> uh, Old Sloppy, thanks so much, man. Appreciate that reset, thanks for the 71. You could use Google survey rewards as Twitch subs? What? It's crazy. Right. <laughs> Phil. <laughs> Sometimes that's what life comes down to. Okay. So we will use our bodyguard to take out Yzma. Okay. We will use the fork to heal one of those. So he's got one damage on him. Okay. We will... One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Bring out Aurora. And we will quest for three. Okay. Just so you know, guys, he does have the shift option, like how I did with uh, Hades, where he could have played Aurora on top of his other Aurora. He chose not to do it because you don't have to do it. Because now he's generating four lore instead of just, you know, tightening it up to two. Um, so there's strategy there. Obviously, yeah, both both pretty good cards. So you don't want to always shift them. Um, all right. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. 
All right, so my thought was we just, uh... The, the flavor text on the Simba is courage comes in all sizes. That's so sick. I like that. Yeah, so there's some, this is some real nerdy shit, but if you see above, like, the, the quote, it's just a normal separator, but on the Aurora, it's a book. So supposedly, this one, the courage comes in all sizes, means it was written by the game developers, and if it's the book, it means it's directly from the movie, and then there's, like, a song symbol one as well or something. That means it's from a song. Um... What was I going to do? Oh, yeah. I'm going to play Dr. Facilier. Um, I think you were probably just going to end your turn. Mm, right. Right, 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 right you are. All right. We're going to do this for three and then this for one, which allows him to come out and just mm -hmm. kill. Or, sorry, banish. You do be banished. Um, so there's that. Boop, 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 boop. And then we will heal Dr. Mm -hmm. Facilier. And then... Mm, bah, 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 bah. This, this is the same dilemma as last game. I, I did choose to trade Maleficent for Aurora because, again, she's generating two. She's only... You know, generating one. Um, That's how close you are to your villain ramp. Right. Mm -mm. I'm going to do it. All right. So it wipes out both characters because Aurora had two damage. And uh, that's my turn. All right. Choices, choices, choices. Okay. We've certainly got choices. And the choice we will make tap all those and bring out Moana. Nice. We will. I got another impulse stat. More to come. Someone don't stop me. Lo love your brother. Hope you've no, been well not. lately at Meglov. Yo, great. Thanks so much for the tier two, man. What it, what kind of tat did you get? Thanks, dude. Knack, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed, and you will be too. I'm sorry. I do apologize formally. All right. Um... I will play not the queen, just kidding. I will ink the queen, but now I'm not kidding, as I will play the queen for five. Queen for a queen. Queen for a queen. Um, and I'll also heal Dr. Facilier for the last little bit. Mm -hmm. And then I will... I know this adds it to your ink pile, but I gotta do what I gotta do. And I will take out Grandma Tala and... Feels a bit underwhelming, but that is my turn. Great news, that means it's my turn. All right. So here is what we will do. We'll get... These two ready to go. We will. Uh, just so you guys know, Nick has like princess bullshit going on. Uh, where like something about like if she que if yeah, you probably aren't gonna do it. I think. Yep, we're gonna quest for five. One, two, three, four, five, and then Aurora is unexerted now because of Moana's ability. And mm -hmm. that is my turn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I may lose. Got a nice beefy bodyguard up front. Feeling like we might have something special going. Yeah, I'm in trouble. 
I am in trouble. Um. Yeah, I can't get Ursula out there. It took too long for Ursula to come around. We can sing a song here. All right, I, 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 it might be over. I don't know if I can do anything to stop this. But I will use Dr. Facilier to sing, I believe. I will do that. And then I will you know, get my... Oh, there's fucking shit in here, man. Just, just for the record, as this stands right now, that would give me six next turn. Right, 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 so before right. Before you commit to that move, just wanted to make you aware of that. Yeah, I think I could still. Yeah, yeah. It's it's gonna be it's gonna be a hard it's gonna be a tall task. I'll tell you what. Um. I think I still am gonna do this. I mean, I guess it wouldn't. It doesn't make a difference, really. Because I would just pull out a t attack, a two attack character, which he's already a two attack, and that's four attack. I mean, we could, we could, we could take out the goof troop with what we got on the board right now. I mean, if you're able to use that and then bring something out with rush to take the place of this, that's what I was gonna do. But that's the only other way. But. To... He, Stop the next turn. Victory. Yeah, so it doesn't it doesn't make sense because that character would die anyway. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna heal Doctor Facilier. I'll do the two damage, and then we'll do that. This will give three damage, and then three damage here, and then I just wish this was like another card. You know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, I guess we could play it. We just can't sing it for free, which I guess is fine. So we'll do that. We'll look at the top four. Okay, 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 okay. They go at the bottom of the deck, right? Yes. The clock does cost one, yeah. So like, yeah, I couldn't have, I couldn't have, uh, I couldn't have pulled the the Maleficent, and well, I could have, and then, but she would have died instantly. All right, I'm just gonna do this. And then, um, that's my turn. All right. We draw a card. Do one, two, three, four. We'll bring out another princess. I think that wins the game, but. Yeah. Well, that definitely wins the game. One, two, three, I think, four, maybe. Five. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, I mean, if if you can come out with some crazy damage here, it's definitely not over. But all right, so it's really unfortunate because Jafar's you need something that targets Bell. That's the problem. I I can't target Bell. Yeah. So it's over. Because I I could clean up a, a decent amount of that, but oh, she would untap from Moana. 
Yeah, it's over. It is over, Rover. I could do that, that to take her out. I could do Oops. this, tap this. You would still be left with one after that hit. And then I'd finish with that, but yeah, it's not enough. It is not enough. It's a GG. 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 I would really love to play the rubber match, but I do have to call it. It's okay. GG's. Thanks for playing. GGs. Yeah, any time. Later, brother. Later. Pay out the non-believers. Or the believers, I guess. For Nick G. What's up, Thomas? Hello. Good to see ya. This is like when they were saying pickle on their pickleball serves. Wait, what? There's there's a ton of viable decks old sloppy. They've 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 put a lot of effort into trying to obviously not have OP decks but also have a lot of viable decks. I think a big reason why a lot of decks are viable is cuz of the the items and the actions I feel like can really help balance it. Hello? What up? Next opponent. Uh. Next opponent. We got Fat Daddy 109. We go from Nick to Nick. I could switch to my Blue Steel deck, which I do really like my Blue Steel deck, but we might run this villain one a little bit longer. Um, uh, can, I del can I delete this? I got it. I I made the player mat Excel sheet. Nick helped contribute to it though. I will switch my my play mat to um to what? To what is the question? Maybe we'll just go straight Jasmine on him. That's pretty sick. So for some card art right there. Oh, that's some high res card art. Um, all right, guys, we're gonna we're gonna kick off a game here against uh, Fat Daddy Nick, not Nick G. Switching opponents. Um, his deck is gonna be completely different, and I gotta pee. Um, so I'll be right back. Yeah, so Knack, these these mats are custom that we're doing, but like this this mat this mat this mat are all available to purchase when the game comes out. And I'm pretty sure this mat you need to like win a tournament to get or something. But yeah, it's pretty sick. <clears throat> I'll be right back.
do 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 Hello? Yo yo. Yeah. Alright. Oh, we should roll the d20 for who goes first. Or who gets to choose. 14. <clears throat> Guys, predict at the top of your chat. Uh, that just, it just means, like, who's gonna win. Uh, so first would be me, and second would be Nick. It's, like, you're just betting your pack points on who's gonna win. Did you roll an 18? I did. Nice. If it was D&D, &D, it would have been an 8, but, you know. <laughs> did, uh, are you gonna go first, or? Yeah, I'll go first. Okay. I'm gonna ink, uh... Bell, oh, you're doing your mulligan. Yeah, it's a. Okay, I'm good. All right, so I'm inking Bell and playing Sergeant Tibbs. Okay. Sergeant Tibbs. Jay, play a new deck. I played two games with this deck. What are you talking about? Play a new deck. You insane? I haven't used this deck much yet. So it might suck. <laughs> uh, I'm going to ink the queen. And we'll get the dingle hopper out there. Your turn. <clears throat> I forgot to draw. I'm drawing. <laughs> I'm gonna I think I'm gonna ink bell. Okay. And play some coconut basket. All right, just so you know, guys, the coconut basket's an item just like my dingle hopper sits over there. And whenever you play a character, you can remove up to two damage on a chosen character. Um, no, yes. No, uh, the circle means what your attack is, and the shield is what your defense is, basically. All right. We, we toss right. the uh, D20 back and forth if you want to do that to yeah, signify yeah. the end of the turn. Um, that's good. Th this is not good considering we, we're starting to get cards that we can't ink, and that's not great. I mean, you got to play them, I guess. But this lantern will definitely play. I do like that card. Um, but what are we going to ink to play it? I mean, I love friends on the other side, so that would hurt to ink. Maleficent's going to also hurt to ink. So I'm going to ink Dr. Facilier, which we can't ink Ursula. That's not good. We're getting cards that we can't ink, which is not great early game. All right. Um, oops. I am inking Dr. Facilier, and that's going to be two to play the Lantern. Right. And um, that's my turn. Yeah, this is how far I'll go. Milana. I'm gonna... I'm gonna ink a Sergeant Tibbs. Okay. To play a Fishbone Quill. Put any card from your hand into your inkwell face down. Whoa. That generates ink pretty quick, probably. Yeah, and it also gets around the whole has to have an inkwell symbol on the top left. Mmm, any card. Ooh. And I'll quest for this guy. Okay, okay, okay. Well, at least we got a card we can ink. I think it's time we get a, 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 a character out there. As much as, like, well, I don't love the pocket watch, to be fair. I like the lantern and the dingle hopper much better. Uh, we are going to ink the pocket watch. And then I am going to...
play Maleficent. And when I play the character, I can draw a card. Which I hope to God I drew a card to start that turn. Which I no, I did, I did, I did. Uh, and <laughs> that's my turn. Oh, I'm so stupid. I forgot I had this. Uh, for one less. I could have played something else. I'm going to ink the Scepter of Arendelle. Okay. And then I'm going to tap the Fishbone and stick this Sword of Truth in the ink as well. Mm-hmm. And then I'll play the ah, Goofy. fuck. And I'll quest with this guy for one. Okay. All right, all right, all right. This is oh, the really, Frozen Trav? soundtrack. That's crazy. Draft decks can have any number of ink colors. Oh, wow. That's going to be wild. That will be fun. That will be fun. Um, I will ink... Uh, Nah, you know what? First things first. We'll have her sing Friends on the Other Side. And now... I will ink... I will ink You Have Forgotten Me. And then I will tap the lantern to play it for one cheaper. So I'll play Jafar for three. Ooh. And then I will play Maleficent for one. And that's that. And these guys are ink drying. And I did ink, I believe. That's my turn. <clears throat> All right, I will attack, uh, or sorry, challenge Maleficent with Goofy. Okay. Um, Still gets two damage though, right? Yeah. But I'm going to tap five and put another Goofy out oh, and he's come back off because of my coconut. Jeepers. And then I'll quest with this guy. Okay. Oh, jeepers? She taps my deck till I Moana. That's good. That was a good one. We hit one. We got one, guys. <laughs> we got one. <laughs> a lot of trial and error in the chat, but uh, <laughs> there it is. Um, um, let's just do, I'm going to ink be our guest. Alrighty. And then... I'll play the queen. I mean, I, I could do that, I guess, but. <clears throat> oh, fuck. I misplayed this Jafar again. I do this shit all the time, man. I <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, you should have done it before the queen yeah, played. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, my God. I'm a piece of shit. All right. Um. Okay. Well, that's it. That's my turn. 
Ooh. Goofy Ryan. So I miss <laughs> I misplayed this Jafar guys because I could have damaged um, for four, which would have taken out Goofy, but instead I accidentally played the Queen, which made my hand one card smaller, which gave me one less damage. So yeah, misplay. Alright, I will put Tibbs will challenge Maleficent. How? Well, how, you, then, how you how you challenge a Maleficent? Oh, she's not tapped. You're right. Yeah, you're yeah, right. Yeah. You're right. You're right. Right. I thought you had some secret power. I don't know about. <laughs> um. All right, I'm just gonna tap two to play Dramatala. Okay. And then I'll quest with all these for five. Okay. I could make a Lorcana mat, yeah. There would be no there would be no there would be no suing. I wouldn't write Lorcana and I I just make it the exact dimensions oh. of a Lorcana mat. Yeah. True. Uh you you didn't misplay your Jafar anyway. Cause he can't oh he's evasive, DC. yeah. Oh yeah, I, I lose. <laughs> you can't you can't take out evasive characters? No. Oh shit. Yeah. I made a new deck to try out, and you, and you just can't take them out. <laughs> um, <laughs> let's see here. All right, well, it's a race then, I guess. Um, be our guest is going to get inked. Mm, and I will do lantern. For Ursula. Ooh. So I lose a lore. Yep. And you draw a card for it. Oh, right, right, right. Thank you. And then I will just... Uh, I will... I don't know. I'm thinking. What will I do? Do, 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 do. It's just such a free kill. It's so free. It's so free. I don't want to do it. All right, three. I'll quest for okay. three. Oh, and it, sitting out there is worth it eventually because it's a villain card. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, you done? Yeah. <laughs> Guys, we already have the design for the Lorcana thing. It's just, it's, it's just this. Unfortunately, I pulled uh, what you needed me to not pull. Oh, great! Dragonfire, Dragon Fire, banished chosen Hunter character. Uh, game over. Oh, she's up here now, too. Rip. I was going to show the... We already have our Lorcana um, game map design. Thanks, Silver. <laughs> Sorry, what else did you do after the um, banish? Uh, just quested Stinky with all poo of them. poo toilet fart. Okay. Six. Okay. Um, that is, uh, that's convenient, but also probably a little too late. Uh, it, it, it's pretty much game over. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, I think it's game over because you got, you got, you got four that I can't do anything with. You will lose another lore, though, because I somehow drew another Ursula. 
And I'll use the lantern to play her. Yeah, draw another card too. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yeah, and then I'll just I'll just ink a Doctor Facilier, and then <laughs> yeah, I will. I mean, it's the only chance I have to slow you down is take out these two. How much? It was just one damage and then two? Uh, yeah, one from Gramatala and okay. then two from Tibbs. Um, and then I will quest for two. And Ursula, wait one sec. I'm gonna heal. Oh, there you go. Um, I'm gonna do that. And then that's my turn. I mean, pulling that next Ursula was, like, insanely low chance, but it did happen, which keeps this game alive a little bit longer, mainly because when I play Ursula, it allows him to lose a lore. I keep pulling them. Um, Tigger. But that might be the nail. I was just saying how I kept it alive for at least another round or two, but, yeah. Yeah, it's just another evasive. I, I pulled so many in a row. And that is going to be tough to overcome, considering I cannot damage. Just to be clear, guys, these guys are evasive. The only way you can kill evasive characters is with another evasive character or with an item or an action, like an item like a blaster. You can damage them or an action like a cannon blast or something like that, which this, desk, this deck doesn't have any of those. Um... <clears throat> so it's countered pretty hard by evasive characters. The thing about evasive characters, though, is if Nick needed to kill some of mine, like, my damage would go back into him. Like, it doesn't exempt them from that, but... Yeah. It's gonna be... Gonna be... Yeah, I'll pick a different deck. No, I can... I, I could use my blue steel, which has some counters to it. Okay. Um, for sport, I will play Hades, um, when I get one of these characters back, but it ain't going to be enough. I'll take Maleficent. And I will play her for three, draw a card. Yeah, Tigger and Goofy are both evasive. I can heal another damage. I mean, we, we like we've ramped. We're ramped, but it's it's definitely way too late. Um, Cause this is for eight. Yeah, that's a lot. Um, it's just thirteen. Then, uh, you know, if we had, like, another two rounds, if we drew the Hades, we have, like, five villains out, uh, you know, it would have been uh, really good, but too little, too late. I was waiting for this guy to come out, too. <laughs> yeah, nightmare. But I'll just tap these. G G. G G. All right, I'm going to get my uh I'll get my other deck. Get my other deck here. Mm, blue steel. This one this one's a little like the other the vile villains I kind of copied a villain deck and then changed it from there after playing. This blue steel deck 
is just my creation from the ground up. My first ever deck ever created at any deck builder. So I, I don't I don't even know what it is. I don't know if it's a rush deck. I don't know if it's a evasive deck. I don't know if it's a ramping deck. I don't know anything. Oops. Playing with a massive deck already. <laughs> 120 cards. I guess you can though, right? Um on the surface this is just Disney's Magic the Gathering, but it it's not when you look under the surface. I mean, you know, it's a card game. And there's there's mechanics that Magic also does, but yeah. Roll the 4. Ooh. All right. All right. I guess that means I'm not going, or I don't get to pick for sure. <laughs> oh, God. I haven't seen this deck in a while. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. Yeah, that's always the weird part when you. I'm, yeah, so used to one deck and now. Um, all right, I'll go second. Oh, okay. Um, I'm going to ink a Scepter of Arendelle. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, geez, 74. That's like almost three quarters of a century if it was years instead of months, Wolves Brain. Trobitties! Yo, thanks so much. Appreciate the 74 months. That I think that is true, yeah. I think the math checks out there. Yeah, there are six different ink types, and each deck needs to be made up of only two inks. So this is what I call a blue steel deck, and you have to use, like just blue cards and steel t cards to build the deck but um, the the colors are kind of the different inks are kind of themed like a, a lot of the blue cards are uh items and item based cards and yeah a lot of the reds are evasives and rushes greens are also evasive and something else yeah like they've created starter decks with two two inks in each of them there's three different starter decks and each of those starter decks kind of have like a play style that they've like crafted as far as like starter decks go um as much as i love our maleficent i am going to ink and we will play the goons and that's my turn the goons <clears throat> yeah, my oh, other Lord. my other deck that we were just playing, uh the Vile Villains is um what do they call this? Is this amber? Amber and then the purple. It's these two yeah, colors. Well, I'm gonna ink another scepter of Arendelle. Okay. And put out my coconut basket. Coconut. And then I'll quest with this one for one. Okay. See a card a card like this is really good against like evasive characters. Like this is a good one. Cards like this exist. That's why like sometimes evasive characters aren't so annoying to deal with, but my other deck has nothing, which I probably should fix in case. In case True, I, uh, I guess it's <laughs> or just lose the losing yeah. game and change decks. <laughs> yeah. Um I will ink an Aladdin to play in Aladdin. Alright. And I'll quest. No, sloppy. No, that's why we're here. Conversate, ask questions. You know, inquire about certain things about the game. Be curious. There's nothing wrong with that, brother. That's what it's all about. You understood the assignment. 
I'm going to ink a Sergeant Tibbs and then tap all three of these to play a Detective Mickey. Which pulls a top card into the ink well. Yep. Um, Yeah, so when you turn cards into ink, Old Sloppy, it doesn't take the color of your card into consideration. Every card is worth one ink. You can only ink cards that have this gold wreath around the price on the top left. A card like this that does not have that gold wreath, you can't ink. Um, as far as the color of the card, doesn't have any any implication on you building your ink well, which is essentially building up your mana to play cards, like in something like Hearthstone or something. I'm gonna challenge your goons with uh, Tibbs. It's a white. It's a wash. Yeah. Okay. What I mean is there's really only one color for cost, which is very different how... Uh, yeah, this game is drastically different when you get into like the minutia of play-by-play -play from something like Magic. But somebody from like a 100-foot view that sees Disney Lore Con, a trading card game, they're going to compare it to Magic because it does use some mechanics that... I mean, it's a card game. Um, but there, most of the inspiration from this game, I think, came from Keyforge, which is another trading card game that has a similar mechanic to the questing and like gaining points, which is more at its core what it is. It's more similar to something like a key forge than it is a magic. People just know what magic is, so they just say it's like magic. Um, did I draw my card, guys? Did I draw my card? I forget. I changed the song and it uh, threw me off. I did draw my card? Okay. All right. Um, I am definitely going to be buying packs when it drops. I've already called a bunch of local card stores who get the game two weeks earlier than like Target or Walmart does. Um, I've came up a little dry on results, but people, some of them have told me they've pre-ordered like a couple cases. So I will be, uh, running around to some stores on August 18th to try to pick up some and we'll open them on stream. No, I, I hear you, Olsabi. I hear you. I, I'm agreeing with you. I'm, I'm, I was kind of trying to point out that people will hop into the stream and say it's like magic. You know what I mean? Cause that, you know. From the hundred hundred foot view, it, it is. Hundred foot foot view is a new saying I'm trying out. Um. All right, my brain is scrambled. All right, let's um do. Let's ink Kristoff. And we'll play Grandma Tala. And I will quest for two with Aladdin. And that's my turn. All right. Yeah, probably what's going to happen, Van Swagen. I'm assuming, like, most of the card stores have communities. And, like, which is understandable. But, like, a lot of those people are going to hit up the owners. Um... You know, and be like, let me get some. And they're going to be like, all right, you're here every night playing Magic the Gathering. You can have a case of Lorcana. So, like, yeah, it's a little bit of a pipe dream, but I would like to support local card stores. So if they have some Lorcana, I will definitely be purchasing a lot of it if possible. But, yeah, realistically, you might catch me at Target at September 1st, like, trying to buy some. Because if you saw the lines at Gen Con this weekend, you know this is uh, going to be pretty difficult to buy, probably. Okay, so we challenged Mickey Mouse um, to Aladdin. 
Aladdin gets banished. Mickey Mouse gets two damage, but he does have the coconuts. And he put out Pongo, who is an evasive character. Yeah, so that's when he's coming back. And he's healing with the coconuts. And then I'm putting Bell and uh, Inkwell down here. Okay. Start free bang Bell. Is all you? This game is not digital. I am playing it digitally because I'm obsessed with it, and the game isn't out for two more weeks. So we are playing a completely legal version of it on Tabletop Simulator. This is this version's. Com if anybody talks to Bob Iger, this version is completely legal. If anybody's uncle is Bob Iger. <clears throat> All right. Disney Lorcana. <laughs> All right. I'm going to get rid of... Yeah, I'll get rid of this Aurora. We will ink this Aurora, and I will play Hans. Uh, we will quest... With Hans. Tala. Yeah, so Hans, the character I just played, guys, is a 3-3-4 three, three, cost. But the beauty of Hans is that he gets you two lore points every time you quest with him. And when you quest with him, he could deal one damage to a chosen character. So it doesn't matter that he's not evasive. He could still deal damage to evasive characters. So there's plenty of ways to get around evasive characters, but you got to have the cards to do it. Uh, that's my turn. I spoke to him. He said it's not cool. Oh, he said it's cool. Oh, nice. Very understanding. All right. I'm going to tap all five and play um, a Grandma Tala and another Detective Mickey. Okay. So every time he and plays then... this Detective Mickey Mouse, guys, uh, he takes the top card of his deck and he puts it in the inkwell automatically. Um, it's a cool card. You can't ink this Mink Mickey card, uh, and you you could potentially be inking cards that you want. You don't get to look at them either. Yeah. Um, and then I'll just uh, quest, quest for with three. These. All right. All right. Um, all right, so guys, we're gonna we're gonna try to to do some damage here, so he doesn't spiral out of control with like being able to quest willy nilly. Um, so we'll, this is gonna be a pretty decent turn, I think. I think this is gonna be a pretty decent turn. I think I got to get rid of Maurice though. He's just not in the plans. I really hate to do it to him. Uh, all right, I'm going to ink Maurice. And then we have five. So with five, I'm going to do deal two damage to each opposing character. <laughs> okay, so she's going to come down here. Two. It's gonna be hard to coconut myself back from that. <laughs> um. Okay. And then I will strategically, strategically, do this to Mickey to banish him, but also banish Grandma Tala, but that is going to be able to be put in my ink. Then I will quest with Hans and deliver the final blow to Pongo, because when he quests, he deals one damage to Chosen Character. I don't want to flex, but I think that was a pretty solid turn. Doesn't mean I'm going to win the game by any stretch, but I, I, I liked what we did there. I'm in a little bit of trouble here right now. 
<laughs> What's up, Angel Cupcakes? Hello? I'll tap these three to... That's exactly right, Vance out. Wagon. Yeah, the symbol at the bottom of the middle of the card is, is the symbol of rarity. So that's common. This is rare, I believe. This is uncommon. And then, you know, there's other ones. Like, some super rares. Um, oh, this Hans is super rare. Okay. Man. Okay, I'm just going to put uh, Mickey into Hans here for one. Okay. And that's it. Okay. <clears throat> All right. We have six ink. We are going to ink Aurora to create seven. And then we're going to play an Aurora for five and then play a Aladdin for two. And then we are going to quest with Hans for two and damage Bell for one. And that's my turn. That's incredible, old sloppy. That's that must be nice. <laughs> Knack, you have to see the real card of this. So this is see the bottom of the middle of the card. This is like an enchanted rare. Um which means it's this full art. Do you see how it has no border? Uh this was just released over the weekend. Um there's there I think it's like one per every two case or something people are people are saying so it's pretty rare um and then the actual card is foiled it looks so good man you don't want any oh okay then it's not really lucky for you but if you want any i'd pay for shipping what date does it say i'm just gonna clear out Hans with a uh, bell. That's why I did the Mickey last time. Do they have? Do they have the tret the trove, old sloppy? And do they have any of the mats? You took out Hans. Yeah, I traded Bell for okay. him. Okay. And you and Mickey you played Ariel. Yeah. Do do do. <laughs> that's a good draw there guys that's a good draw that is a good draw that's a good one I mean we're top decking right now so this could easily go south but we did get a little lucky there on that draw by drawing another Aurora um oh my goodness I'm in trouble I'm top decking too and it's not going well <laughs> and uh I will quest for four bringing us to 12 and that's my turn so what is ward uh, good question uh ward is so do you know like the card i played before this grab your sword this is dealing damage to like a bunch of people if nick had ward it would not have damaged the other characters. Um, Ward protects your team unless... Does, does it protect on that one? I don't think it does, because that one doesn't say choose a character. I think it protects them from, like, getting reckless on them or, or like, this one. This one says or you like, may deal one damage But I thought, like, cannons and, sto and stuff, it would stop direct damage it, it's only like it's basically saying you can only hurt my team if you challenge them well, i always thought i always read it as it only protected from things that said the word chosen well yeah canon say deal two damage to the chosen character okay so you're saying this is the exception right because this okay. one doesn't say that's ch choose this is just hits them that's whereas you're you're because you're not targeting says, them 
Yeah, yeah. I guess. Yeah, I, I don't know. I wouldn't know if it would count. But basically what Ward is, it protects your team to rarely take damage outside of a direct challenge. Yeah, chosen is the key word. That's why Nick is saying this one, because you're not choosing a character. But, like, for this Hans character, that would, the ward would help you there. All right, I'm going to take out Aladdin with Ariel here. Okay. He, she takes two, I think. She does, yeah. But I'm also going to tap four and play Pongo. Okay. And then coconut does back off and then i'll tap three the hell you got cooking oh no poison apple your uh aurora wait really isn't this like doesn't this sit here and then you have to trigger it next turn like an item oh is that what it does that's how i read it but i could be oh you might be right yeah you're right like you could do that next turn right 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 which okay, sucks there, but... which sucks more for me like long term because uh, every more. turn you could banish a princess no this i banished this item to do it oh okay never mind yeah but i does I'm, i am using it now because i'm gonna uh put Ariel back up so she can't get hit right now because whenever I play an item I may ready this character okay gotcha <laughs> game's about to get spicy oh that's a that's a question though can I I can't choose either of these auroras So what what do you think would happen? I don't think I can. I don't think I don't be able to use this because this Aurora is warding this one, and this one's warding this one. Oh shit! Oh shit! The ward's too strong, baby. So I'd have to kill one first, and then ward, and then poison apple the other one. Gotcha. So this this card right here, guys. I don't know if you've read it or if I've pulled off the uh, alt too quickly. But this card is one of the, first of all, one of the most beautiful cards I've ever seen. Uh, and secondly, one of the wildest cards that can change a game instantly. It is a whole new world. Well, let's change it because uh, I'm in trouble. <laughs> but I will, I will have Aurora sing a whole new world so I don't have to exert five energy because she could sing it for free. Um, so what that means is I get to hold on to my seven ink and then I get to draw seven new cards, as does Nick, though, as does Nick. He loves to see it. It's, it's you know, I might have been able to garner, you know, four lore and just moved on with my, my turn, but let's, let's, let's spice her up. Let us spice her up. Alrighty. <clears throat> so I haven't inked either this turn. I don't think. No, that was definitely last turn. Um, so I have a lot of choices here, obviously. So Beast is really good because Beast, when you play it, you could banish an item. So I could get rid of his Coconut Basket or I could get rid of his Poison Apple. Uh, so that's a really good character. Amazing card art as well, by the way. Um, but if I play him, I won't have... I mean, I could play him and Tinkerbell, but I really want to get Donald Duck out there because he's a bodyguard and he could protect my Auroras which is very nice. So there's choices. Because, like, if I play him, I can play another four character. Um, I think I'll do that first. I think I'll do that first. All right, I'm going to... Um, 
I'm gonna ink flounder. That brings me to eight. And I'll play um, Donald Duck. And then I will get another four to put out another Aurora. When you play this character, the chosen character gets minus two this turn. Um, which means that I can, if I minus two, I could take out Ariel and only get hit for one. Uh, yep. And then... Wait, wait, no, Ariel's not... She, I ready her, you can't attack oh, her. Oh, yeah, 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 you right, you right. Well, I, it's chess rules, I right? I can't take Aurora forward. back, right? What did you say? Uh, so I knew I readied her for a reason. <laughs> Worked out. Um, I already played her. I don't, I, you know. I, I would have been better off playing her for sure because I thought I'd be able to minus two and then, you know. But it's all right. We'll quest for two. Uh, she's still drying. We got Donald Duck as the bodyguard. <laughs> this, is, this is so rough. <laughs> and uh, that is the turn. The new flounder for his pick? Oh, God. So cursed. All right. I'm just going to skip the middle part and put Grandma Tall right into the ink this time. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm going to do it up here now, I guess. I'll put Little Mermaid into Donald Duck. Okay. And she takes two. You can just leave them off because I'm also going to put okay. Pongo in there and wipe him. He also takes two. But then I'm going to play uh, Bell. Okay. And take two off of Pongo with my coconuts. And. I will put an additional <laughs> card into my inkwell face oh, down. Fuck. <laughs> It'll be uh, another bell. Is that nine? It's nine. And then I'll tap the five that are left and put a goofy out here. Oh no. He's ramping. Yeah, it's a little too late though, I think. He's ramping. Yeah, Bell's secondary uh, ability is while you have 10 or more cards in your inkwell, character gets four lore when they quest. Plus four, so five? Yeah. And he has nine in his inkwell. <clears throat> so, you know. All right. We were in a on a table last night, Van, that had four spots, but we couldn't figure out how to get decks into it. But that's it a, a tabletop mod problem. Yeah. But yeah, you can have up to four players play at the same time. Um That just seems wild to me. Yeah, I'm not super interested in that, but I, I, they probably did that just for, like, families. Like, very super casual play, I would assume. Uh, 
Uh, I'm trying to think. What do I want to ink? We'll ink a uh, beast mirror. All right. And then we'll play beast and maleficent, and I will banish. Or I'll get rid of your item, which. I, like, can you even use the poison apple right now because of the ward? No, right? Because everyone's protected. Everyone is protected from being chosen. So I'm going to get rid of your coconut basket. <clears throat> Dip. And uh, we'll just full quest here to 19. Oh, shit. That's all she wrote, probably. I mean, yeah, I don't... You're going to be able to quest for five. That's seven. That's nine. That's ten. I don't know how much more you could play, but... Yeah, I don't think there's much else I can do. Here's eight to put out, Mickey. I mean... <laughs> Yeah, I was you, ramping. If you could have readied him, you could win <laughs> in one turn. But yep. well, I'd still be short, wouldn't I? I'd be at 14 right here. Right. I guess that would be 18, yeah. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Um, yeah, the other cards I can play. So, yeah, I just 10. All right, well. Guess that's a GG. Damn. I'd had nine. That would be nine. This would be the next turn. Wow, that's the highest I've seen so anybody go. Six, seven, nine. So that would be twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. Oh, GG. GG's. I would have had 28 on my next turn. Yeah, you were you were ramping. I just thankfully, those auroras being able to stay out there was huge. Yeah, that's wild. <clears throat> I didn't think about them, like, warding each other. Yeah, that's sick. That was very sick. All right, pay out the J, second. believers. Hmm? I'll be right back. Okay. Oh, there is Trev. I did, I don't I don't know anything about like four player. I don't know much about magic. I definitely don't know anything about um, four player magic. I was the only vote. No. <laughs> Stop. At least you won. You won your money back. I mean, old sloppy. I I would I would take a booster box. Would you be able to ship it? So like, the only problem is you wouldn't be able to ship it straight to my house, or would you? You would have to ship it to your house, then ship it to me. Then we're talking like maybe what, like another week? I just it's hard. It's a hard call. I I do appreciate the offer. Um. Right, there would be taxes if it came to New Jersey, but would it be worth it? Like, would it wash out? shipping it from you to me and then it would get here sooner right <clears throat> it might be worth going straight to nj because i would i would buy a booster box yeah mm -mm -mm. You're saying five days if it goes to you, then to me? You said it's local. Would you be able to pick it up at the store if you pre-ordered it? And then ship it out the 18th? Mmm. Mmm. If you could do in-store pickup on the 18th and guarantee it, then I would probably take you up on that. I'd probably take you up on that because that's guaranteeing a booster box by like the 21st or something. <clears throat> 
It's as soon as I could get it, Pure Pariah. I, I don't know if I'd be able to plan anything to be like, <laughs> to wait to open it. I just don't think they're 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 getting the allocation, Trev. I, I just don't think they are because I guess like Dave and Adams is maybe like a local card store vibe, but like it's also not. I think they're being very particular who they allocate boxes to. They want like in the community, like people that run Magic Night. You can nag. Ooh. Do you getting a day and date? Check my local shops. They all say sold out. Yeah. Surprise for you in sub chat. I'm scared. <laughs> That's fucked. That is fucked up. I'm kind of hot as a girl. What is wrong with my face, man? What is going on there? <laughs> Stop, dude. I'm going to throw up, brother. I'm going to throw up, dude. This is horrendous. This is like Uncanny Valley. I don't know what's going on there. What's up? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, what is going on, man? Why am I Willy Wonka? <laughs> <laughs> He's using the moaning photo. <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> it's Dr. Facilier. <laughs> oh. What's up, Garans? What's up, Malama? Hello, good to see ya. <clears throat> Are we doing same decks? Sure. All right, run it back. Run her back. Get your nat 20 out of here. <clears throat> A nine. Great. A nine, eh? Uh, that's all right. Let's see. Uh, I rolled a 12. I'll go second. All righty. Mm -mm -mm -mm. But yeah, old sloppy, I'll probably take you up on that, to be honest. Just having it guaranteed is, 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 is nice. Just knowing I'd, I'd probably get it by August 20th or something. Plus, like, if I go to local card stores, I'll probably just get uh, the trove and like mats and starter decks and stuff. But I don't. I'd order a booster box from you. How I many think that, packs are in a booster box. I think 180s retail. I think that's retail. Sounds like it is. Yeah. There's got to be like 24 packs in it, right? Yeah, I think there is 24. Uh, maybe it's... I guess that makes sense. Are they, are they $6.99 a pack, or are they $5.99? I think it's $5.99. Oh, so it's a little higher than... I mean, 24 times 6 is $144. Mm -hmm. So maybe it is a little more. I guess I'll check that before I confirm with you. Let's see if I can find it. Jesus. Pre-orders are going online for like $500 for the 
Yeah, I saw that. Um, this doesn't yeah, no sales tax is huge. Mm -mm, that is huge, but yeah, packs are five ninety nine. This doesn't tell us what the booster box would be. Uh, a booster box, booster pack display at uh, Best Buy will be one forty four. Okay, that's it. That's what they are. They're the display ones. That's exactly what it is. So 144, so you'd, uh, it'd be 188, guaranteed, no sales tax. Yeah, that's, that might make up the difference right there. Yeah. Because what's sales tax in New Jersey? Seven? Seven, yeah. Seven or six, I don't know. I guess it's not that much. It's only like 10 bucks more. Mm, 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 mm. But in hand is... Like a guarantee, True. I guess, is more maybe valuable. Yeah, I tried to find them here, but I, I couldn't find anything. Less yeah, I mean, more. none of the none of the local card stores here are doing pre-orders. They're just like they're just saying like, yeah, we ordered some. Like, hmm. I guess like just come on the 18th or something. I don't know. You can pre-order a bunch of stuff at uh, like at retail already, but you can't. I did see the that, but yeah, the, boxes. <clears throat> that two weeks might be excruciating. To wait yeah. for big box. Uh, it you're going first. Uh, yeah, I'll go first. Okay. Um, I'm gonna ink Maurice here. Okay. And I will throw Sergeant Tibbs out. Okay. I will uh ink B smear. <clears throat> And I will play develop your brain. So I'll take two cards, keep one, put the other on the bottom. Classic J opening move. <laughs> well, it didn't really work out for me. Literally a wash. Um, all right. I'm gonna put Grandma Tala in the inkwell. Okay. And then tap to play Grandma Tala. Okay. Um you know what I will ink Captain Hook and then I will play Goons and I will play Develop Your Brain. <clears throat> Try this again. Not really working out for me, those cards. And then as... Uh, no, he's got to dry. All right, I'm done. Okay, cool. It's sloppy. Good to know. I'm going to ink a bell. Okay. And then I'll tap these three to play Detective Mickey. Okay. And then I'll quest with both of them. Just so you know, guys, this smash action is really good. You deal three damage to a chosen character. So definitely a good way to handle evasive characters if he starts playing them. Uh, so happy to have the smash cards for sure. 
but what to do now is the question. Um, we will ink a flounder. And we will play three for Kristoff. And we will uh, quest for one here. It's my turn. I haven't formally said yes to pull the trigger on Old Sloppy. I, uh, I, uh, I probably... Um, yeah, I, I feel like I want to... I should just try to... I called the local card stores, like, last week. Um, so if I think if I called them, like, this week, they would have a clearer answer, but then it risks selling out at your shop. So, yeah, a little bit of a catch-22 situation. I think in uh, Scepter of Arendelle, okay. play Pong, or playing Pongo, and then questing with these three. Okay. I am going to um we're gonna ink Aurora and we will play three to take out Pongo. There it is. And then we will quest for three to bring us to four. And that's my turn. Why didn't you pass it back last time? It's all right. All right. Gift box says there are only two left. What comes in the gift box again? Uh, like four, packs. four booster, two lore oh, tracker, four. 32 damage. So it's four boosters for $30. Oh, but you the also get the oversized foil cards. <laughs> I yes, forgot. That's, that's correct, Van. So it's 40 at your place. Okay. I mean, tax would get me close to that, really. All right, I'll tap four to play Ariel. Okay. And then I'm going to put two. I'm gonna put Grandma Tala into Kristoff here. Okay. And then she'll go in here. And I'm just gonna finish them off, okay. I guess. A quest with Mickey. Okay. Well, I'm not going to get rid of this, and I'm not going to use this against Ariel because I need to save these for when he plays evasive characters. So I don't want to ink it, which would have brought me to five, and then I could have played Maleficent and Captain Hook, but I'm not going to do that because I can't get rid of this. I cannot ink this card because it doesn't have the gold wreath around it. Um, so we're in a bit of a spot where... I can ink a Captain Hook for next turn and then just play the Maleficent this turn. It's a bit unfortunate, but is what it is, I guess. All right, I'm going to ink the Captain Hook. Not a captain. <laughs> Use a four to play Maleficent. I'll take out Mickey Mouse. And uh, that's my turn. 
And yes, you can only attack characters when they are turned sideways. So when they quest or challenge another character, they remain vulnerable for the next for the the players the players next turn, which is like that's like the core mechanic of the game is like chasing to get lore, but like not making our characters vulnerable to be challenged and banished. You know. I'm gonna put Sergeant Tibbs in the inkwell here. Some noodles. Noodles. Five, and I'll just take out Maleficent here. Did you make yourself some? It's from last night. Last night. Mm -hmm. Oh, I thought you meant like, um, ooh, these are good. <laughs> yeah, Thanks. Good. Yeah. Are you probably a little hungry? I'm definitely hungry. Do you want something else? No, this is perfect. Okay. Thank you. You need a drink, water? You're good? Mm. No soda. Seltzy? What kind? We have Anything, yeah. Sorry, what did you do? Uh, dragon fired your Maleficent. Tough. <clears throat> That's tough for me. Kind of a waste, but... Gotta do what you gotta do, I guess. Um, yeah, speaking of wastes... <laughs> I just spoke about how I did not want to use this. I mean, I could use <laughs> this... So both, both of these cards effectively do the th same thing. The cannons damage two, but then the smash damage is three. Thank you. The smash damage is three, the cannons damage two. I can ink the smash, I can't ink the fire of the cannons. And then grab the sword deals two damage to each opposing character. So I'm really hemmed in right now on what I can do. I have no character cards, which is a bit of a disaster. Um, if I use Smash, I will be able to kill Ariel, which might be good. But again, I wanted to save this for characters I can't just fight. Yeah, I have no option. I don't. I don't want to do this. I wanted to save that for evasive characters, but here we are. True, true. And then I will. Uh, I will quest with the goon. <clears throat> Alrighty. Just not getting anything, man. Yeah, me neither. All right, I'm tapping these two to play my coconut basket. <laughs> it's your turn. Mm -hmm. That's insanely good. That is an insanely good pull, especially because he just played his coconut basket. <clears throat> when you play Beast, he destroys an item. And we have five. It's like It couldn't have been a better pull. I couldn't have picked a better card out of the deck. All right. Well, I'm going to use five to play Beast and destroy your coconuts. Okay. Great turn ahead. <laughs> Literally, I just was saying, when muted, I couldn't have picked a better card out of my deck for that moment. <laughs> uh. Um, That's it. Okay, this is actually okay, I guess, maybe. I'm gonna spend six to play Maurice. There you go. And that's it. Okay. No SummerSlam watch along, uh, Molly. We are going to see Barbie at 940 tonight. <clears throat> hey oh. The movie's two days in a row. Um, yeah, and I just saw Um Across the Spider Verse in the movies with Joe on Monday. Damn. Like three times in, in a calendar. No Oppenheimer yet? No, we're debating it tomorrow though. That's so good. <sighs> it's not what I expected, but it's good. Okay. Yeah, the cinema's back, baby. Teach is not going to Barbie. I sent out the invite again. He said no. All my heckling and, and convincing didn't change anything. 
His exact quote was actually, movies two days in a row, back to back. That's really cool for you. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the hell, man? The guy hates the cinema. Um, all right. We will. Another really good poll, to be honest. I can't even gas you up. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Uh, and we are going to quest for three. Bring it's us getting ugly. Nine. Let's turn. Okay. Okay. This is this is okay. Okay. He's alive. All right, we're gonna do. Three, four, if it's not Baroque. Okay. I'll get my coconuts back. What a fantastic card. Look at that. <clears throat> what is Maurice from? What do you mean? <laughs> That's Belle's dad. <laughs> what the hell? Um, uh, he's going to quest for two. And so I will play this one for one. Okay. And then I'll tap one to take Aurora out. Oh, fuck. He's cooking. And then I'll tap two more. To oh, he's cooking. <laughs> He's right. cooking. I'm out, I'm out of cards, but... Wait, you could draw a card, Chief. Oh, yeah, 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 you. I hate to say it, but you could draw two. You played two items, didn't you? You're right. <laughs> Thank you. God damn. This is what I mean, though. Like, I mean, I'm talking to literally Nick G, who's not even here, but I've been talking about how good of a card Maurice is. If it, if it lines up, and it lined True. up, I mean, I guess you could say that about most cards, but he could really pop. <clears throat> he could really pop. Yeah, Trev. I played Trev last night. He had ten items out on the board. Wow, it was absurd. That is insane. I had three items out on the board with Nick earlier, and I, my brain couldn't. I couldn't. His turns were lasting forever. He would, like, do, like, 18 things and have spent one ink. <laughs> I think he had... He also had... Uh, a little... Or he had Ariel out and somebody else. And so every time he, he got to, like, ready Ariel over and over again, and he got to... Mm, one of those. Draw with Bell and draw with somebody else and... Um, we'll do two damage. Hate to see that the, uh, those cards are in the deck. <laughs> yeah, they're in there. Um, we'll play Aladdin. Maurice in the movie is dressed like Shrek. <laughs> um, yeah, so these are these are Dreamborn cards. There's there's also um, what is it? Stormborn, I think. There's Storyborn, which is like um, alternate universe stuff. And Dreamborn, I think, is like if they excel at everything, so he would become like a world famous inventor type thing. Um, all right. So, yeah, unfortunately, I'm going to do everything in my power to, to take out Maurice. I don't really know. I Four, take, six, take two damage seven. here. Um, That gives him four, and then this would, you know, just be a one overkill, but then it would wipe him. All right. <clears throat> you did good, Maurice. You did good. Yeah, I mean... What a run. 
And that's my turn. MF has so much shield. Yeah, that's another reason why he's a really good card. He has seven shield and he has he gets two lore every time he quests. All right. And he also, when he quests, you get to pay two less for the next item. Oh, perfect. There you go. I mean, yeah, that's that's dark for me. <clears throat> kind of. The four hit at once is rough. Yeah. Yep. On the beast. Because <clears throat> like, I can't, like, take tank two hits and then right. put out a character and coconut myself and... I will play Maleficent, and we will double quest for four, getting us to 13. It's my turn. Speaking of movies, you just saw Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So did I. I saw it last night with Waldo. <clears throat> How'd you like it, Brandon? I put my review up on Letterboxd. I will not be talking about my review uh, publicly on stream. You have to go follow me over on Letterboxd. I am gatekeeping my movie review. I'm just kidding. I thought it was amazing. <laughs> that was incredible. I'll take out Aladdin with uh, Mickey here. Okay. And I'll quest for two with this guy. I'll spend three to put another poison oh, apple Jesus. out he's cooking and then my other five i didn't want to do this again but i'll take out maleficent oh my gosh the dragon fire where'd you get all these cards oh from maurice <laughs> <laughs> all right yeah but i'm back to zero i need to pull another maurice out <laughs> i should have saved the the poison apple to throw out when I had one. All I don't right. know how many are in my deck though. <clears throat> how many poison apples? No, how many Maurice's? Oh, probably like two. I don't think you put more than that. Well, if there's two, then I'm done because the first thing I inked was a Maurice. Oh shit. Did you Van Swaggy? That's okay. I mean, when you review a movie publicly on a review site, you put you really put yourself out there. That's okay though. All right. I'm going to spend one to put out a scepter of Arendelle. I'll tap it to give uh, support from Pongo to Mickey. And I'll quest with Pongo for two. And then I'll hit uh, the beast with Mickey to clear them both. Beast with Mickey? Yeah. When... I'm giving the attack from Pongo to Mickey with the scepter. Oh, fuck. I don't know this shit. What is this? Chosen character gain support? Whenever they quest, they may... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, I don't know. I've never seen that. Or I've never read it, I guess. Okay, well, that sucks for me. <clears throat> that definitely sucks for me, but honestly, this doesn't really suck. No. <laughs> it's not a game breaker, but it is nice. Uh, and then I will quest... Uh, for no, 17, it's getting so close. And then I'll deal damage. You hate to see it. And uh, that is my turn. <sighs> I started a letterbox. He's handing out five stars left and right. Oh no! You got to be careful. You gotta you gotta hold on to your five stars. I don't know how many All movies right, well. I've given five stars, but it's not a ton. I mean, weirdly enough. Um, the two movies I've r most recently seen have both been five, star five stars, but <laughs> unfortunately, I think that's the game. Why? Cause you can't take out Donald. Mm -mm. Hmm. I only do two damage. 
Mm. <clears throat> and even, was he uh he's even if he was tap I mean I could tap him if I needed to to do to do the stuff, but I just can't Yeah, I can't do anything else. Oh shit. I needed uh, my last wildfire. Yep. I could do this. Toast a couple of your guys with the grab your sword. Didn't I damage Pongo? Yeah. That would have yeah, wiped him. Oh, you no, healed him uh, with the coconut, right? Yeah. Nice. All right, then I quest for three. 20, baby. Damn. What is the GG? That was close. I mean, you were yeah, a turn, a lot a, turn or two away. Oh, here. As soon as I do that, here come out all the There freaking... they are. <laughs> The squad's all here. Look at this. They're all oh, right here. Oh, good thing I won when I won. <laughs> oh, there's another Maurice. <clears throat> Dang. There is another Maurice. Now nah, you got to love what you love. I think, I mean, everybody everybody rates differently. But I do think when I if I were to love a movie, I would rate it four and a half on Letterboxd. If I love a movie and I think it's exceptional then it hits the five because i could like a movie more than like you know other people like it i guess the unbiased take would add the half star to make it a five letterbox is really harsh on ratings because they're all like nerds <laughs> <laughs> they're all like movie snob nerd people I've been trying to add a bunch of movies that I've watched, obviously, before getting a Letterbox account. Obviously not reviewing them or anything. But rating them. Um, do you want to play again? you want to switch decks? Like, what, what are you doing? What do you think? I'm good with either. I mean, that was close. I think we run that back. All right. Sounds good. I am still watching the Disney animated movies and re-ranking them. That list is private on, on Letterboxd just because I want to wait till it's done. But I, yeah, I finished Pinocchio a couple days ago. Um, and I'm currently on 101 Dalmatians. And it is, it is hard to get through. It is tough. I keep falling asleep. And then I keep falling asleep. Aloof friends and then, just came home from the musical. It's 1 a.m. and I don't see emotes because mobile sucks. Yo, Insanity, face. thanks for the 45 months. Hope you enjoyed Moulin Rouge. Thanks so much. Appreciate that resub. Um, but no, I keep falling asleep during 101 Dalmatians, and then I keep freaking waking up to dogs barking in my AirPods. It's it's not it's, it has not been a pleasant last couple <laughs> nights. I'll tell you what. Uh, did you roll a four? I did roll a four. Seven. Um, I will go second. So, yeah, Pongo freaking triggered me before I started to watch 101 Dalmatians. Now when people play them in Lorcana, it triggers me <laughs> even more. I've not watched Brother Bear, no. It's on the list. It's a pretty good starting hand. But I think I'm going to get rid of Whole New World for now. I don't think I need that right now. Actually, no. Maybe if I get to it quick. And then I could, I could try to screw up any plans he's working on. All right. Ooh, nice backdrop. Unfortunately, that's my entire turn. Okay. I will uh, ink Tinkerbell. And we will play the goons, and that is my turn. Oh, you hate to do it. 
I'm gonna have to ink this eight banger, Mickey. Oof, oof. And I'll put Gramatol out. Okay. I feel I feel like uh, a show being not bad actually isn't good enough when it's not on a, one of the main <laughs> streaming platforms. That's true. Um, I will ink Flounder and I will play Grandma Tala, and I will quest. That's my turn. Knack, are you telling me there's a 101 Dalmatians TV show? Yeah. Really? I remember seeing that it was when I was a kid. Oh. Um. I'll throw Tigger in the okay. well here. I like that. And tap these three to play Bell. And then I'll quest with Grandma Tala. Okay. Yeah, no, I uh I, I've never even heard of that. <clears throat> I I definitely did not watch that as a child. They made a bunch of those spin-off TV shows back in the day. Hmm. As much as I don't want to admit it, I enjoyed it. Everybody when they go to a musical. <laughs> Literally everybody. Um, all right, what am I gonna do here? Let's do I'm gonna ink that and we will play one. And I will attack your Tala, which gives us both an ink, so you're welcome. Yeah, yeah. And then I will uh, just quest one with the goons. That's my turn. Um, all right, I'm going to pay three to play my fishbone quill. Okay. I will tap the fishbone quill to put Ariel in here. Okay. And then I'm also going to put... Uh, I'm actually going to do the inking on this one. Okay. And then she's going to quest for two. And I'm going to use... Tinker ability? Uh, and play Coconut Basket for one. Okay. <clears throat> All right. That was a turn. Yeah. Gotta get that ink out. It was definitely a turn. Mm, 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 yeah, I feel mm. like there was a bunch of those animated shows. They had like Aladdin had one, I think, oh, for a sure. season. Little Mermaid had one. Wow. Uh, Hundred One Dalmatians. All right, I am going to, uh, well, Ink Maleficent, making it five. I'll use four to play Eye of the Fates. Ooh. And then I'll use the last one to get <clears throat> Captain Hook out there. And then I'll do this for Aladdin, which makes it three. And then one will be four. And it's my turn. (laughs) 
he is investing hard with the inks. I mean, since we've played him a couple of times, I think I just know he's trying to get to 10 as soon as possible. Maybe he's sitting on a bell, like the real bell, the big boy bell. Um, that's my guess. And, or he's hoping bell comes out of the deck because that right, card is so, insanely powerful. Yeah, it's nice. Do five to put Goofy out. Okay. And then... Bell... We'll take Aladdin out and take two damage in the process. Okay. Oh, that was stupid of me. But yeah, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> okay. That was the wrong order. Mmm, classic. Goofy should have come out last and taken the damage off. Mmm, yeah, yeah. I do love a misplay. They hurt. They hurt. Um, I'm just going to play your favorite character, Hans. Oh, man. And then I'll do this. And... Um, hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I'll do this and, and quest for three, getting us to nine. Man, and busting hard. It's my turn. <clears throat> uh, Steve, thanks so much. Appreciate the 36 months, man. How's it going, Steve? Good to see ya. Well, this is unfortunate. I like that. I like to hear that. <clears throat> thanks for the prime, dude. All right, it's just going to have to do it, I guess. Okay. Get Hans out of here. Fucking dragon bullshit. And then... I'm going to quest with Goofy for two. Oh, <clears throat> I'll just play this, draw two, Let's see which one I like. I like both of them, but unfortunately I do have to discard one. Love hearing that and then watching you put it on the back, bottom of yeah. the deck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, this is one. Well, maybe let's not talk about that. <clears throat> anyway. Uh, <laughs> all right. Mickey Mouse, Detective Mick, and we're going to do that. And I'm going to do this, and then quest for three. Bringing us to 12. When you play this character, you may put the top... I already did that, yes. Right. <clears throat> what I was saying is this is one Not of the full well. card arts that they revealed. Ink this. Fish which bone, is so quill. sick. Okay. I really do hate when he's be just sitting there checking all my healths, you know? <laughs> I see his teal huh. little hand. No, it wasn't the health. Yeah. Oh. I'll quest for four. Okay. Right? Yeah. Yeah, I'll quest for four. Okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> Well, this is interesting. Now I could banish one of his items, which I would take away his fish quill thing, which is getting him more inks, but I could also play Tinkerbell. 
And when you play this character, you deal one damage to each opposing character. And that would kill Belle. That would kill Belle. I think we have to play her as much as I want to play Beast. I think we have to. All right. We will play Tinkerbell. And oh, I no. deal one damage to Bell to knock Couldn't her out. Pull a freaking character to heal her. <laughs> um, I will do this, and we will quest for Man. four, bringing us to 16. And that's my turn. Well, there it was. <laughs> I'll put Sergeant Tibbs in here. Man, I... I don't think you would bump up the VP total. I think 20 is the sweet spot. It makes games feel like juicy enough, but not too long and drag on. You take it yeah, out. Yeah, maybe Mickey. It depends on what kind of. Yeah, I'm taking out Mickey. It depends on what kind of deck you have, really. Yeah, I think 20 is a good balance. I did. I didn't hear anybody bumping it, but I have heard of people play till 10. But oh my gosh, that's insanely. It's low. so fast, yeah. So I'll I think change my deck and I'll be <laughs> as fast as you want. Yeah. I think 20 is perfect. I agree. I mean, <clears throat> 20 can definitely feel long. Yeah. Depending on what the decks are. Yeah, depending are. on what the decks are, how quick you ramp, what you get dealt. But, like, that would, you know, any number would be that much of a variable, I guess. Cause that's just how it works. I think I think ten is just too easy to get to. Yeah. Mm, okay. I just don't. Should I kill the coconut basket or the or the or the fish bone? Because he's already got eight ink. He has no cards, and the coconut would be able to heal. Goofy, which is like all he got right now. So if he can't heal Goofy, he can't attack my character's generating lore. So I think I'm gonna take out, even though he's been using. I don't know using, how well it will do against this deck, Phil. But I can switch to a different deck after this and show you that ten would not make sense. <laughs> yeah, there's like a what they call rush decks or whatever, which basically gets out like lore very fast, like recklessly. Where it's like you don't care what happens, you're just, you know, get oh more points. Um, all right, I am going to play five here, and my beast is gonna take out your coconuts. Great. And then I will uh, tap this for the game. Oh, that's the game twenty one. Yeah. Indeed. You played no freaking villains except for this little puny ass Captain Hook. I could never pull cards. Oh. And I could never use my sword to take anything out. <laughs> Damn. GGs. 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 Um, I have to pee. Did you? Do you have another deck? Uh, yeah. All right. I've got a couple other ones. Yeah, uh, I'm going to switch back to the villain deck. You kind of know what it's made up of, but... Um, All right, take this boy out of here then. We'll go back to, to do more of the villain deck, guys, and we'll play another another game. I do have to go pee, though. This this de this this blue steel deck, I got to admit, I'm, I'm pretty proud of myself to never have built a deck before. I don't think this is going to win any tournaments, but I feel like it's a, a fun deck to play with. I'll be right back, guys. <clears throat> yeah, 20, 20 best of threes are good.
Uh, I honestly have no idea, Old Sloppy. I've never gotten anywhere close to pulling through my whole deck. Oh. <clears throat> All right. Yeah, I've played um I mean maybe 30 games, maybe 25 games of Lorcana already and I've never reached the end of my deck. Uh, yeah, I think most of my decks I'm not even like halfway through, I feel like. Yeah. Um I'm not saying it's not possible, because it, it, it definitely is. Especially the ones that cycle. Hold on. Did... Sunday's drops early, sloppy. All right. The we... Sunday mini happens real early on Saturday for some reason. Oh, shit. Um... I feel like we need more villain backgrounds. Oh, true. We don't have many. I did do... I'll do this one just because I go pretty heavy on uh, Maleficent on this deck. <clears throat> oh, I like the left and right contrast of these two. <laughs> been, this deck has had really good... Uh good win rate so far but i haven't played against something like the mm. interesting we'll see how it goes oh did you roll yeah i rolled a two oh. <laughs> i could roll one and i did i rolled a one. Oh my gosh Uh, you can go first. You I'll take the extra a... draw. Hmm. Um. <clears throat> All right, you have forgotten me, Inked. That's my turn. 
All right. I'm going to ink a giant fairy. Okay. And I'll play... Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Okay. Mm, let's draw a card. I will ink a Dr. Facilier and then I will play one. I'm going to ink a hey hey and then play two Captain Hooks. Okay. <laughs> Are you scared for hey hey's life? Well, might as well get some use out of them, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I only hit I only hit for three and your guys got four health. Yeah. But if I quest with Hey Hey, then he hits for four. Right. Mm -mm. I don't think what to do here. <clears throat> I think we want to get this uh, other Dr. Facilier out. I just, I guess I'll just, yeah. We're going to ink Isma. And then um, I'll play another Dr. Facilier. They're coming out. They're coming out. And um, that's my turn. I'm going to ink a Captain Hook. Mm -hmm. And then I'll play a Tinkerbell. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> the old stall mechanic. <clears throat> I love Ursula. I don't love two Ursulas early. You could say I'm a poor, unfortunate soul, I guess. That's tough for me. That's going to be... That's going to be interesting to have to work around. You can't burn one. It doesn't have the gold wreath. You cannot turn it into ink. That's why it's uh, a pain point. That's the problem. <clears throat> um, I mean, we could ink. We can ink the queen and then play Jafar, but we're inking the queen, which is sad. All right. I'm going to ink the queen. And then we will play Jafar. And, um, it's your turn. I'll do the minis after this game, guys. <clears throat> um, I'm 
gonna tap Tink to draw and discard. Okay. I'll discard giant fairy. And I'm going to ink Simba. Okay. That's it. Standoff. <laughs> I got uh, Tinks over here, you know. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> um, I will play two. Actually, let's hold off. Let's see here. Like, actually, it doesn't really matter. No, it does matter, actually. All right, I'll do it. Four damage. Take two. Um... This is not drawn well for me so far. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's an interesting draw for me as well. Like I'm getting playable characters, but I got some roadblocks. Um all right, I'll play I've the gotten way too many characters that I want to be putting in my well and nothing else I can play, so I'm forced to stick them out there. Mm -mm. That's all I can do. <clears throat> all right. Um, I'm I'm definitely gonna play the physical card game. Yeah, Phil. Um, I mean, Nick G is gonna buy some. Uh, Gino's gonna buy some. I don't know if any of my other friends are gonna buy some. Hopefully, I'll get Kate into it so we can get her playing. Uh, but yeah, I plan on playing a lot of the physical card game. I don't know if I'd stream too much of it or anything, but I plan on playing a lot of it and I plan on collecting these cards. I'll fire the cannons at one of the Maleficents. Okay. I'll smash Jafar. Okay. All right. Okay. This is such a weird game. It's a very weird game. <laughs> I mean, because your deck is shooting from your hand, like damage like that, I think. Mm -hmm. And then my deck is putting soldiers out, so no one's ever getting lore. True. Essentially. But the, whose favor does that go into? That I don't know. I I guess. I guess de it depends on how much damage I can output. Right. Um, I will ink this. I'm inking this because I'm trying to get seven. I will not tell Nick that, but I'm trying to get seven ink. But we need to get inkable cards to do so. <clears throat> All right. Well. I guess I don't know, man. Like it I'm just giving you time to draw weapons. So <laughs> I don't know if that's the best strategy. I will not take out hey hey. I mean, you're forcing the stall mechanic. Like I don't I got nothing. Here you go. <laughs> What is this? <laughs> I 
I, I, I can't, I can't, I can't fight you and I can't do anything. Yep. And if I fight you, I lose my, I, if I quest, I lose my cards. Right. <laughs> so I, I can't quest. Because my Captain Hooks are only decent in a fight when they're the ones initiating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm going to ink this. I would love to have played this because I have the ink to do it and get you get rid of two cards, which could have created some weirdness. And that might be a misplay, but there's a reason I'm trying to get ink and I am, I am done. I'm not even getting ink right now. I'm still, I'm still not getting ink. <laughs> Uh, Phil, I reread your question, by the way, and I'm sorry my reading comprehension is so bad. But um, to re to actually answer your question instead of just saying that I'm excited to play the physical version with my friends, I would still play this game on tabletop sim 100% even after I get the physical cards for sure. Um, it's cool to play on here like only with the cards that you have owned too. That would be cool too to like only be able to use the cards you own. Um, but yeah, like ha otherwise, how would I be able to play like Nick or anybody else that doesn't live close by? Um, Wes expressed some interest in maybe learning. I don't know, but, um, yeah. So yeah, we're definitely going to keep playing tabletop sim version. And thankfully there's a really good one out, which is the one we're looking at. <clears throat> okay. okay. <laughs> um, Why am I not attacking his hey hey? Uh, there's a reason. The reason. Well, he can't. Well, I mean, unless well, I can't. Yet. Right, I can't. But I guess the argument could be I could bait your hey hey to attack and then he die. But like, yeah. So basically, what's happening here is we each have zero. This this is never in all 25 plus games I've played. No <laughs> game has ever gone like this. It's not evasive. We have zero points because nobody's questing and nobody's challenging, so no one's dying, which means nobody's activating their card. So if no one's activating their card, you can't challenge them. Like, I can't do this, even if I wanted to. Like, one of I, us has to quest first. Someone has to, like, become... He doesn't want to quest because then I'll attack him. The pro yeah. And I don't want to quest because if I quest... He'll wipe my cards without losing his cards. Right. And the problem if he is quests, I'll trade. Yeah, whole trade because his captain hooks are really good at attacking. They're 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 the plus two. Like otherwise they're not great, but Yeah, they're garbage if they get attacked. Alright. <clears throat> I don't want to do this, but I, I kinda have to ink. And I'm thank you know what? I'm thankful that it's ink. Oh, you have so much ink over there. <laughs> And I'm just pulling stuff that I... Uh. Alright. I'm gonna do four to play Hades. Okay. And I guess I'll take this Tinkerbell back. Okay. In the well of souls. All right. I finally get to use my seven to play my Ursula. Oh, man. And as anticlimactic as it is, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. I mean, if the turn comes back right. to me without um, him, he see, he could have got a weapon. A Simba. If he got a weapon, we could be in trouble. He he might have a dragon fire. Wait, and then I, I ink? Yeah, I'll ink Simba. Actually, no, he can't have a dragon fire. That's his last deck. But he could have like some some heavy Some's artillery eight back there. She's a big chungus. Yeah, so we'll just. Oh start wait, you off. lose a lore, and I. Oh wait, you don't lose a lore, so I don't draw. <laughs> oh, it sucks. Let's go. That probably right, never we'll happens. We'll just do damage, five, two damage to all of your uh, stuff. Let's see, this is what I was worried about, guys. This is what I was worried about. 
I'm playing with fire, but I really don't know if I have a choice. Okay. Oh, sorry, you're not done. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, yeah, I'm. I'm I am. Okay. It's actually an insanely good card to get right now. Usually a card I would ink instantly, but what happens here is that we could play Be Our Guest, draw four cards, and then hopefully draw the big Hades, which we would be able to upgrade this Hades with. So actually a very good card to get right now. Uh, I'll play another Ursula. <gasps> Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> oh my God. Ah... Uh... I, um, this is absurd. It is absurd. It is absurd. It, it's crazy because it could get more insane, but. Oh, no. I just, I know you got firepower, and that's scary. All right. <sighs> that's hot. I'm doing it. <clears throat> Your turn. Beanie Head, thanks so much for the 105 months. Thank you, Beanie Head. That's so bad. That's ink, uh, so ink. bad. Can you just move these over? That works too. That's so bad. He's only have two health, though. The what? Yeah, I gotta go soon. This game is still at zero zero. <clears throat> okay. Oops. This is to your other point, Phil. You want to bump up the total you have to get to. And you start playing against <laughs> hard control decks like this. Yeah. Mm, I just don't know if I want to. All right. I'll play. Oh, God. I forgot you had Hades in there too. I got Hades in here. I think I'm just gonna draw this one back. <clears throat> and then um that's four. She's live. Hades is cooking currently. Um I will also play this allows me to look at the top four and I did not get what I wanted unfortunately I did not get what I wanted but actually I can't it needs to be a character I take so I don't have a choice here it has to be Hades I'm just playing into my characters Phil Captain Hook's a coward <laughs> true uh, it does say I reveal the stuff so I think you know that I got a Hades out of that if I read the card correctly. That's how me and Alrighty. Nick were playing it. Um, and then I'll play Maleficent. And these two will cook. <laughs> let's just <laughs> let's just talk this out. If I quest that six points on the board, it would be six zero. That would mean this one has six HP vulnerable, and this one has four. Captain Hook does three damage, which couldn't kill either. 
Hey, hey could clean up one. That's wiping two of his cards. And then there's still the other. And three and one would be four damage. Which I don't think is enough to clear the other. I, I lost the thread. This one has six HP. This one has four HP. He is dealing six, seven, ten. No, that's enough. That is enough. <clears throat> I uh, I don't know. I don't know what to do. I'm I'm stun locked. Go ahead. I'm gonna put Timon down here in the Okay. And we will Grab our sword again. <laughs> it's just, it's just the, it's just the worst. It's just the worst. I mean, I guess I deserve it for being a coward. <laughs> I'm being a coward. All righty. I'm biding my time. All right. Well, this same song and dance. I'm play Hades. Um. We'll play Hades. I will take Dr. Facilier back. Then I will play Dr. Facilier for three. And uh, we're going to quest for six. Okay. That's my turn. Biden is time. It's Jover. <laughs> Dude, you like a mully? The Momofuku noodles? I'm glad I I'm glad I suggested something you enjoyed. I would feel bad if you spent, you know, a little bit more money than you normally would on dried noodles and you weren't happy with them. Speaking of noodles, I have one more bite here. So this guy's got four health left. I'm going to quest with Hey, hey, for one, and give his uh, damage to this Captain Hook. And then I'll take out Ursula with okay. Captain Hook. He only hits for two. He's only got two health. Oh, he's got one health left. Unless I messed up the tokens, but... No, she has two. That's six. Oh, there's six. She's got two health. Um... I mean, for freeze-dried noodles, like ready-to-go noodles, they're pretty damn good, right, Molly? I'm gonna pay s five and put out another Captain Hook. Oh shit! <clears throat> so this is one of those alternate universe cards, guys, which are really cool. The artist gets some uh, to have some fun with the characters. Captain Hook thinking a happy thought. Pretty sick. And then I'll put. Just kept looking to Ursula to <clears throat> trade him out. Okay. And then... Uh, 
That's it. Okay. That is such a bad draw. <clears throat> that is such a bad draw. I needed something that I could ink anything. I needed anything to ink and I couldn't do it. Um, but it's not Jover yet. It's not Jover yet because guess what? We can do... All right. Um, I'm going to play Hades. <laughs> um... <laughs> Man, it would be so stupid to not take Ursula. It would be <laughs> so stupid. It would be so dumb. I can't... I I had a different plan, but I can't... That would be so stupid. We have the, the currency for it. Obviously not this turn, but... Yeah, I have to take Ursula. I was going to take a dummy card, ink that card, then be able to play a four card, but... Whatever. Oh, gotcha. I'm I'm gonna play this. I'm, that's not a great item. Not sure why I have it in the deck. To be honest, I don't sing many songs really. Um. Yeah, I'd do some <clears throat> paring down. All right, hey hey. Doing it to him, huh? Well, I think it's about time. Hey hey is Gonzo. Um. I'm not, might be the first time I've ever played a hey, hey. I think I always ink them. Yeah. And he stayed out he there stayed forever. He stayed out there forever. <laughs> All right, whatever. I'm I'm we're, I'm just going to we're just going to I'm just going to quest and shit. All right. Oh, that's pretty cool. Char characters with three cost three or less can't even challenge this Captain Huff. That's mm -mm. interesting. What's up, Rexy? Hello. I am going to... Yeah, Soy and Scallion's really good, old sloppy. That's probably the one I prefer. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Um... Pay five to put another Captain Hook out. Okay. Uh, this guy will take out. Uh, let's see here. Over okay. Here. Takes two. And then I'll trade the. Uh, Okay, okay. All right. I'm going to play Maleficent. I could draw a card. Uh, that is cost three. We have four left over. So close to being able to make this worth it to play this turn. But... If I play it for two, that leaves me with two, and then I'd be one short because it would cost three. So that's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. But. All right. Play the Jafar. Hmm. So he has three HP. Yep. Trading him? Um, I'm gonna trade him, yeah. 
and then uh, that's my turn. It's turned into a bit of a slugfest now. Yeah, this is a. Uh, I'm pulling really trash cards right now that I literally can't do anything with. Got to be one of the weirdest games I've played. Yeah, all the cards I need are sitting right here. <laughs> Give them to me. <laughs> um, I can't challenge you. I, that's it. Okay. I drew a card. What a great turn. <laughs> Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. Do, 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 do. Um, I will play a Maleficent for three, draw a card. Now it works, guys. Now it works. <clears throat> oh, man. My deck has not been working. Now it works because I could play the lantern for two and then use it for Dr. Facilier. He's dropping them out now. And they're getting slung out now. Um, okay. Um, five HP. Well, maybe if I attacked with Jafar right off the rip, I don't know. That might have worked, uh, but well, if you had enough, yeah, I might. I was like four or three, but all right. Um, I'm gonna keep it status quo for now. <laughs> <laughs> This is ridiculous. Okay, I'm going to put this guy in the inkwell because fuck it. Okay. And I'll have to use to put out Hades. Yeah, this is, I was talking about this. If you could see, it says Floodborne Villain Pirate Captain. Floodborne means it's like alternate universe uh, stuff, which is cool. Got to be one of the best cards in the game. Look how sick this card is. It's um, very cool. Imagine this IRL with a foil. Come on. Um, uh, I can't challenge, so that's going to be it for now. Okay. I hate that you have all these cards on the board. I do like that. I, do I like, really don't. I do like that about what's going on here. Hmm. Lantern won't allow us to play both of these, unfortunately, which would be nice. This is maybe the worst I've pulled on this deck since I uh, like changed a bunch of stuff on it. Yeah. There's Ursula. Oof. Um. That's five. I'm I'm just gonna do it. I mean, what what are we gonna what are we gonna do? Just sit here all day? <laughs> I mean I'm happy to sit here all day <laughs> go for it I mean I uh, I do this deck is a lot about choosing your moments of when to quest and like holding off bro this is that's absolutely what, atrocious that's what I like to hear alright so I'll take out uh, Jafar <laughs> It does do one Take. damage. Do 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 do. This is also obviously another Floodborne card because Hades is dressed up as the King of Olympus, which is why this card is so freaking cool. I not only played Disney Villainous, but I own it. I do own it. I want to actually... I've been tempted about the Star Wars Villainous, <clears throat> but now I'm extra tempted because they are dropping a Villainous, um, like a Bounty Hunter one with like Boba Fett and like Cad Bane and stuff. So that one, that one's getting me. I might, I might have to pick up that, that villainous, but I have the OG one, which is really fun. 
I'll have you know, Mr. Randizzle, the same people that made Villainous, Ravensburger, are making this game. That's why people are seemingly very confident in a uh, a new trading card game hitting the market because of Ravensburger's um, history and how good they've done with uh, Villainous and the, and the Disney property. <clears throat> okay. Here we go. I'll just do a couple ismas for four. I mean, I guess it could technically be for three. Um, I think you uh, you got enough generated before I pulled any of my cards. That's going to quest for five, bringing us 17. It's back to you. Still nothing. What the heck, dude? Yes, Mr. Randizzle. And it drops in like two weeks at local uh, card stores, and it drops September 1st at big box retailers like Target and Walmart and stuff. And this is this is the uh, card art. It's amazing. They got foils. They got legendary cards. They got booster packs. This is set one, and then set two is coming out in November. It's... It's, 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 it's pretty good. You, uh, took out Ursula? It takes both of these guys to do oh, it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Big Chungi. It just wasn't enough. Mm. Yep, that is gonna be it, because I got four. Four questers, bringing us to twenty-one. That's a GG. Wow. Yeah, I was I was very far from getting going. What are you Prince looking Phillip for? Prince Philip was not. Uh, the other Prince Philip's wow, good. The, Prince Philip's great. They'll yeah. trade your Ursulas every time, but right. well, no, it won't because he won't die from it. When this character challenges and is bad... Oh, yeah, because Ursula only does, like, two damage. <laughs> uh, my four cost uh, Captain Hooks, which are... There they are. Mm. Here they all are. They just oh, these guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then you bring yeah. back the cannons. Right, right. I remember Yeah, and then this. you kill them, and then I Hades them back out and bring their yeah. cannons back out. Yep. The, were, these Captain Hooks are crucial to this. Yeah, they were very deep in the deck, apparently. Okay, well. Sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. I got lucky then decks. because I, I committed to the stall because I'm trying to build an army. That's what this deck is. And then, Yeah, but my deck is to is keep your board wiped. Right, which you could have if you bought if you pulled those captain. I, I'd be interested to run these two back again because I don't think it would probably play like that again. No, I think you might. I think your deck might be might counter this one well enough though. I because I there's not many that do. Right, I don't think, but I think yours is is it. I also was sitting on these for so long. Just I pulled all my cards that didn't generate uh, ink. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I didn't pull any characters. I was going to show you guys some actual cards. Because Lorcon, by the way, look at Lorcon, or not Lorcon, Gen Con is happening and they're actually giving, they're selling Lorcon product. Look, <laughs> look at the entrance. <laughs> It's just ridiculous. They were I remember them tweeting about the H Hall. Like, please get out of the H Hall. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. But yeah, products already begin oh, look at this. Oh hell yeah. A foil full full art stitch carefree surfer. It's insane. What the hell is this? What the hell is this? Someone make a game? What the hell is this? 
I mean, the tabletop sim version is really good, but what the hell is this? That's kind of crazy. It is. It looks like Uno. I need that stitch card. I know, it's so sick. Look at this one. God damn. <clears throat> Holy shit. Brother. <laughs> Brother, I need to be transported to the hospital. What am I looking at? Oh, soundboard redemptions. <clears throat> I always feel like a baby. I need my afternoon milk. <laughs> I always feel like a baby. I need my afternoon milk. <laughs> no. Bro, nah, brother. Brother, come on. <laughs> That, that plays too much into the ooh-woo uh, <laughs> meta, and I don't know if I could do it. Oh, this Elsa card? Oh, this was this was getting sold on eBay. Let's see what it's at. I was following it. Let me see. Watch list. It's still going. How high is it? 600. There's still a day left, though. Six hundred dollars, guys. We'll get you this full full card art, Elsa. Enchanted rarity. God damn, that's a nice card. The current bid's six hundred dollars. There's been eleven bids. There's been 11 bids. It's at 600. There's still a day left, though. I did see that, old sloppy. Yeah, I actually did. <clears throat> yeah, some of these promo cards are on TCG Player for so much. Yep. The like the D twenty three promo card, the Mickey yeah. was going crazy. Let's see. Yeah, the Robin Hood is listed on here for twenty five hundred. Yeah. D twenty three Mickey Lorcana. Let's go to sold. Yeah, these are just listed, not probably not sold. Yeah, I mean we're looking at we're looking at 1300 this one sold the PSA 10 sold for $3,333 this is a pin this is not a card crazy man do, 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 crazy do, 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 do. Damn, the Artful Rogue one, sick. Oh, he's got the same, uh, doesn't that, isn't that like the, the thing he's holding is like almost the same model as uh, Bell Holds in the blue, on the blue deck, the three, three cost. Oh, yeah, Bell maybe. They're, they said they're like weaving a story in between the Floodborne stuff because like, I guess they're kind of making it up. <clears throat> which is cool all right let's guys let's play some uh let's play the mini let's play the mini i i'm it's eight o'clock i'm trying to the movie's not till 9 30 but kate wants to go a little early to get snacks plus she wants to watch the previews so it's eight o'clock let's do the mini i'm gonna do the mini from yesterday and the mini today sunday august 6 this is tomorrow wait no 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 no, I'm going to do the mini from today, and then I'll do the mini f f that will be tomorrow's. I should be able to go back and do the mini from today. <laughs> I, don't, you, I don't know. I'm fucked up. Uh, 
Mini Archive. Where's Mini Archive? Do, 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 do. I don't know why they make it so hard to find this shit. What are we guys? What are we watching? We're going to see Barbie tonight. We saw. I saw Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles: Mutant Mayhem last night with Waldo, and on Monday I saw Into the Spider Verse: Across the Spider Verse. All right, here we go. The mini from Saturday, August fifth. Reasons to vote yes. California blank state bird of where else? California. California blue jay. California. I should know this. I'm a bird guy. Drink quickly. Chug. Chugs. Um, suck down. Ask trivia questions too. Contestant. <laughs> Ask trivia questions too. This is hard as shit. Puzzles. Made fun of. Um, Well-timed machine. I don't know what that means. Is that real? Toboggan is a boat? Cotton swab brand? The hell? Time doesn't feel right. Reasons to vote yes. P blank blank B. I don't know. Oh, guzzle? Gu guzzle? Okay, a toboggan's not a boat? Oh, wait, that wasn't true. Beloved family members? Sibs? <laughs> what else could it be? Dads? Like moms? I have no idea. Why is this one so hard? Well-made machine. Well. What the hell is a toboggan? I thought it was a boat. Crossword Sudoku's Jigsaw. This has to be puzzles. California. What is the California bird? I don't know. I do not know. Ask trivia questions to buzzers. Made fun of. It's like to tease, to like rib to like prank to like a toboggan I I, I don't know cunning deception like guilt That doesn't feel right. That doesn't even make sense. Cotton swab brand? Did you guys get this one? This is like the hard one, isn't it? Saturday? I always thought Sunday was the hard one. Stop doing that.
well blank machine. A well oiled, well oiled machine. I feel like the U and the I makes me think of a certain bird, and I can't think of that certain bird's name. Reasons to vote yes. I mean, YOLO? <laughs> Asked trivia questions too. It's not buzzers. It's not buzzed. You ask it to like a whizzes, geniuses, uh, the contestants. I got nothing, guys. This might be the first one in a while. I don't think I'm going to complete. Let the, forget about the damn time. I'm giving up. Saturday is big, not hard. I got it. It made my brain hurt. The six down guys, guile, six down. Yeah, I don't know that word. Oh, a toboggan's a sled, right? Jamaica, we have a bobsled team. Oh, quizzed. Quizzed. Do you guys remember that show, Quizzed in the Face? <laughs> <sighs> oh, made fun of is razzed. I don't know if that's true. Reasons to vote yes, pros. A quail? Isn't a quail a duck? Oh, Q-tip! Something's still wrong, I think. Given a name, titled. Oh, wait, that wasn't true. I lied. Quit it. That was tough, man. That was tough. Not going to lie to you guys. You guys bailed me out by giving me, um, Gil, Gilly, Gil, and Sled. I should have debunked that toboggan was a sled after I realized it wasn't a boat. Because, like, a sled is a boat, but it's just on the snow. So, it's really it's the same thing. <clears throat> do, 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 do. Why is it saying this one's new? Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> All right. Let's try uh tomorrow's mini, which is on on for today. First responder to an accident. E EMS opposite of rapid. Slow. Term for a young otter or wolf. Um, little whippersnapper. In the upper echelon, elite, roadside in, motel. It follows slash slash in a URL. WWW. I hate this shit. With six across rapids. White water. Uh, 
A little whippersnapper's a s What? Former ruler of Iran. Term for a young otter or wolf. Why don't I know this? What's a what's a What? I don't know what any of this is. How do, how have I come so far? A little whippersnapper? A swerve? A swirt? A swerp? I have no idea what that is. A swarm? <laughs> what the hell? I don't know. I don't know what this is. How am I not getting two squares? I went so fast and then this happens to me? My whole stream is a wolf theme. You guys are little wolf cubs. Little wolf. Weasels. I don't know. I don't know, man. Literally my exact issue. I'm giving up. I'm throwing in the town. In the towel. Revisit one across. It's EMT. Twerp. Stupid. Stupid. <clears throat> Whelp? What's a whelp? What's a whelp? You guys know what a whelp is? I mean, you guys cooked. You guys freaking cooked. I mean, I was cooking. Who let him cook, though? Didn't need to know that one. True. Hmm, 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 hmm. Oh, let's do the connections. Um, yo, yo. Selfie. This one's really hard. What the hell? What am I looking at? None of this shit makes sense. I mean, hockey puck, they want to trick you, but usually the word isn't in the category. You know what I mean? That's usually not how this game works. I feel like if the cat, the category would be hockey, then it would be puck, net, stick, or whatever. I mean, blocks, yo-yo, doll, <laughs> like toy, like children's toys. But I don't know what else there would be. I mean, no, a kid's not just going to play with a puck. What the hell? Uh, 
Viola, Juliet, Duncan. I don't know. I mean, eggnog. I mean, eggnog's a drink. Are there any other drinks in here? There's obviously nothing else to have to do with Christmas or the holiday season. Bro, what? The seven fishes? Dude, I don't know, brother. Hockey net? Fish net? And I'm out. <laughs> and I'm out. Um, this, this is the hardest one yet. This is the hardest one yet. I've completed every day's one. I can't even get one on this. I mean, I feel like there's baby energy here. Like, blocks, doll, yo-yo, giggle. Like, I feel like, uh, like, but what does that even mean? And a baby doesn't play with a yo-yo. That's like a kid's toy. Or an adult's toy. Blocks, giggle, doll. Memory? <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't, it's not right. There's no way that's right. Viola Davis. Juliet Davis. I might I might have to quit. Like, I could just keep staring at this and I might figure it out. I think once I get one, it'll help. Maybe. Oh, wait a minute. Hockey stick, selfie stick. Fish stick. No. Yo-yo stick, viola stick, puck stick, giggle stick, Duncan stick, top stick, legging stick, eggnog stick, block stick, baggage stick, memory stick. Oh, maybe for a computer? Oh my god, that's such a fucking stretch, man. Hmm... <clears throat> Um What could what could eggnog go with? Like you get a doll for Christmas? Silver mitten gifting a sub to giggle sticks. <laughs> thank you, Silver. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Puck is rubber. That's it. I'm just trying to think of a word that usually goes with eggnog. Eggnog spice. Eggnog. Eggnog's something you can put alcohol in. There's nothing else you could put alcohol in. Baggage? Mm. 
Romeo and Juliet. Nothing's clicking, guys. You got yellow and blue easy? What? Really, Kate? The one from August 5th? We're almost there. Almost there. Leggings. Leggings. Oh, leggings top. A doll. An eggnog. Things that a female packs when they go on holiday. Leggings and top make me think clothing. Is yo-yo like a type of bra or something? Is a Juliet a piece of clothing? Check yes, Juliet. I don't know. That makes me think it's some sort of clothing. I mean, a doll? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> this is so painful. This is painful, brothers. A puck is maybe like uh, makeup? Like a puck? Like the, the foundation comes in a puck? Do girls call it that? I don't know. I'm fuck. This is a disaster. I'm giving up. I'm giving up. You give up too easy? It's been like eight minutes. I left this one for hours and came back. Maybe it would come to me then. Viola. Juliet. Are these like characters in something? That I don't know? Maybe. Is Giggle a person? Oh, homie. One away. Duncan, Viola, Juliet, and Doll? Are these like... Stinky poo poo <laughs> toilet fart. Are these like Sex in the City characters or something? It says one away. The only other names that are possible are Yo-Yo and Puck. Like, leggings isn't somebody's name. Eggnog isn't somebody's name. Blocks isn't. Baggage isn't. Top isn't. It was... Doll, Giggle, Puck, or Yo-Yo. But this is this could be a completely wrong... I, like, I don't, I've never even heard of these people. 
This is this could be just I don't even know. I'm just sh shooting shit at a wall. Yo yo. Puck. baggage I mean it's leggings I don't know I got nothing you you spin a yo-yo, you spin a top. Eggnog makes the room spin. Like, what, what are we doing here, man? Like, what are we doing here? I need get me out. Just get me out. Spin blocks. Leggings, baggage, and top. Things that girls like. <laughs> the fuck is a top? What is top? What is a top? What do you mean spin a top? That's not a toy. That's what you do with a, a bottle cap. Like the thing from Inception? Who's buying that as a toy? It's a classic? You guys are old as shit. You guys are always calling me boomer. You're talking about spinning a top? What the hell? I threw pogs. Slap my thigh voice. Please Google a spinning top. Spinning top. Yeah, it's like the thing from, oh yeah. It is like the thing from Inception. This isn't a toy. This is like something that you do. No, this has got to stop. They're just, it's just butt plugs. They're not even toys. All right. <clears throat> well, I <laughs> finished this sentence, I remember. <laughs> uh. It's what you do to check that you're not dreaming. <laughs> Butt lover name checks out. Name checks out. And we're almost there. Um all right, four and a half hours. I'm gonna I'm gonna potentially go shower, get ready for the movie. Eight thirty. Movies in an hour. We want to get there early. I'm gonna wrap it up. I mean, the only other option would be to um to play more Lorcana, but we've played a lot of Lorcana today. I hope you guys enjoyed it, though. I hope you guys enjoyed it for the super special secret Saturday stream, <laughs> the selfish Saturday stream where I just did what I, I wanted to do. And that was play a bunch of Lorcana. Um, to say I'm excited for it to come out is a gross understatement. And I would love to open up some, uh, some packs when it does happen. Do, 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 do. But I hope you guys have a good rest. I have $250 in my Steam account! What the hell? 
The AK-47 sold. Oh, shit, brother. The AK-47 jet set sold. Oh, damn. Okay. Case opening, anybody? Maybe this week. Maybe this week. Very cool. Next CS stream gonna go crazy. We are seeing Barbie, yes. <clears throat> we are seeing Barbie. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. Appreciate you guys. Lorcano to open. Yeah, I'll hit you up, old sloppy. Thanks for the uh thanks for the offer. Thanks, Trev. See you later. See ya, butt lover. See you over. See you later. Thanks so much for hanging out, guys. See ya, Mully. See ya, Samurai. Old Sloppy. Stolly. Karan. See you later. Bye, Chrissy. Thanks for hanging out, guys. Bear Greasy. See you later. Bye, Silver. I'll see you guys uh, tomorrow. Until next time, stay safe. Stay up. Peace out.